Hello, hello. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> I've literally just got back from um, picking up some bits of equipment. My next one over dog is barking, which is annoying. But uh, hey, how's what it is? Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good night last night, well rested and ready to rock and roll. I'm not working till tonight, so I've got the um, got a day to myself. Riley boys at school. Mrs. P's gone to work to do an extra shift because she works in a hospital looking after sick people. So she's gone into an extra shift because they're really, really busy. Um, all the kids are at school, which is fantastic. Nana's indoors burning toast, um, which is the norm. And uh, so no doubt we'll probably hit a fire alarm go off in a minute. Um, <clears throat> apart from that, um, I've just been down to uh, a new contact I picked up this winter. Um, and what he does is he um, he owns a contract at most recycling sites down um, on the southeast coast. Um, and he lists his stuff on different selling sites, but I'm able to access him before he actually puts them onto the selling sites, which is cool. So today I've picked down some uh, various bits of kit, which I'm just going to go through with you. I might try and start a few up just to see what they're doing. Um, but I've picked up one, two, three, four, five bits of kit. And I didn't pay a great deal for them. I didn't pay over £100, pounds, um, which is fantastic. And in total, I've got a, a hedge trimmer. I've got a, a normal trimmer or a weed whacker, as some of you American guys call it, or a weed trimmer. Um, I also picked up a multi-tool, which has got a strimmer, um, brush cutter, and chainsaw all-in-one multi-tool, which is quite nice. <clears throat> I also picked up a generator and a lawnmower. As I say, I didn't pay a lot of money for these. Um, they were relatively cheap. Um, they're all sold as seen, as non-running, and possibly have issues. They all may be no good at all, but it's the, it's the chance that I take... Um, but looking at the listings and looking at the equipment from what I can see, I had a good scour around um, and it's not showing anything that I'm too concerned about. Um, one of the one of the pieces of equipment, I dare say, well, I dare say if I sold any one of a piece of equipment, I'll get my money straight back, which is fantastic. Um, so we'll go through that in a bit. Um, how are all you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing well. I've got seven in the chat, which I don't expect massive numbers um, because it is a Monday morning or Monday midday lunchtime. Um, but I'm hoping I might get one or two in at least, which should be good. I'm showing 15, which is fantastic. Um, just only been in the room three minutes, which is cool. Um, fun thing to do with tech. I'll go through the chat first to see how you're all doing. Um, it looks like you're all talking to each other, which is fantastic. Uh, fun thing to do with tech. Sparky, good morning to you, buddy boy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, he says, good afternoon. Can we all stick to the rules and give a thumbs up, please? Um, and uh, good luck with your stream. Thanks for that, Tech. Much appreciated. As we all know, the standard rules in my stream is we don't. I don't tolerate no foul language. I don't tolerate um, any more than two emojis and no capital letters in my chat because YouTube will see it as a form of spam. And um, I don't my chat and my stream or my channel put in jeopardy because people are just uh, giving out love hearts and what have you. So keep it to a two minimum and we'll have no problems. Anything over two, you have a warning shot across the bow and your comment will be deleted. You'll be warned. And then if it continues and you're just showing um, no respect, you'll be taken out of my stream and not welcome to come back, which is cool. So as long as we can all play by them rules, uh, we'll be happy with them in the chat and the rules within the actual stream itself. If you want to come on up and have a little chat with me, that would be lovely to see your beautiful faces. And uh, all you've got to do is have your camera turned on. That's a must. You must also have your microphone turned on and no foul language whilst you're up on my stream. Apart from that, we'll all get on cushy and have no problems at all. So that there bit of rules. Um, good morning to Tina. Um, you beautiful lady, you. How are you doing? Oh, it's good afternoon. Yeah, sorry, Tina. Correction. Well, we are four minutes past at uh, the midday. Hope you're doing well, Tina. Um, Tony Shaw is also in the house. How are you doing, Tony? Nice to see you. Snobby Scrap Picker, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. And the lovely Nick Jones is 74, is also in the house. How are you doing, sweetheart? Hope you're doing fantastic. Um, you two, are uh, you three all chatting to each other, which is cool. Ali Max come flying in the house with a good morning. Uh, Mixed Mowers buddy, how are you um, doing, Ali Mac? And nice to see you coming into my stream as always. And Mr. Pete Froud has just rocked in with a high all. How are you doing, Pete? Nice to see you. Dusty Blonde, the gorgeous Dusty's in the house. Also, hope you're doing well, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Tony Shaw's chatting to people. Ali Mac is chatting to people, which is fantastic. Uh, tech is in. Basto, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Basto de Vegas, hope you're doing well. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a good day so far. 
Um, Granddad's Workshop, how are you doing, buddy boy? I still have to pop over to your channel to watch your video. I just haven't had time to do it. I will get around to it. It is on my list of things to do. I've got lots of lists at the moment, and uh, it's crazy to try to catch up. JJ, um, Motors, Mowers, and Machines, how are you doing, Jason? Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. How's the bird? Um, I take it you're at work, are you, Jace? Um, I assume. Um, I don't like to assume, but I'm, I'm assuming you are. I think you work days, don't you, mate? So I, I suspect you're at work. Um, Tina McKenzie is there again, chatting away. Grandad's workshop is chatting away. I'm using my YouTube pop-out chat because it tends just to work a bit better. <clears throat> um, the stream yard tends to, tends to rock up when you get a few people in the house and you miss about 15, 20 comments all in one go. Um, so, yep, um, filling... Uh, filling paperwork today, okay. I'm oh, filing paperwork today, okay. That sounds like a really interesting job. Pate's performance is in the house. How are you doing, Jason? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Hope you're doing well. I did just watch your video of your was it MS 180? It might have been an 80. Uh, I might be wrong. It looked like an 80. It looked, actually looks a little bit bigger, actually. Um, exactly the same thing I had. Um, Jace, I had exactly the same chainsaw in exactly the same issue. Um, it just needed good petrol in it and being pulled eight times because they are a manual um, a manual machine. You have to physically pull the fuel through into a carburetor. You can't just um, uh, prime it. There's no priming system on those. So, uh, yeah, go well on with that. It sounds like it wants a little bit of a tune. Um, I think I watched all the video. I'm sure I did. Yeah, I did because I, I saw you end it. Um, I don't know whether you did a little bit of a tune in between, but you can tune them carburetors. Uh, it may just want <clears throat> it may just want the pickup doing better, but uh, you, it looks like you've nailed it. And I know that you love two-stroke machines, or as you call them, two cycles. Um, we've got a little super chat there from Ali Mac, uh, six pound thirty towards your stream yard. Thank you very much, buddy boy. Every little penny that I earn through my super chats or through the sales of my machines goes straight back into the channel, and it is you guys that benefit, which is cool. Thank you very much for Ali. You are a superstar. Um, Grandad's workshop. Uh, Hammy Hunter's also in the house. How are you doing, Hammy? Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, hope you're on a good day. Uh, blind TV's has come flying in the house. Um, shut the door on your way back in, please. Um, blind, that'd be cool. Um, hope you're doing well, blind. Um, nice to see you. Jard Vlogs, hope you're doing well also. Um, how's my ribs? My ribs are pretty much healed. However, if I'm sat in my van or if I'm uh, yeah, in my chair and I cough, I saw sort of this tonsillitis thing going on. I don't think the antibiotics are, are working. Quick sip of the old coffee to wet the old whistle. This would be red hot really hot um so i don't think the antibiotics are actually doing it um but we shall see um i've got about another three or four days of antibiotics to take uh ms170 i thought it was either 80 in. um same same chainsaw um so yeah i'll be going back to the old quacks and uh getting some more antibiotics for that um i'm assuming <coughs> which is cool um snobby is saying hello to people which is cool jason shoes has come flying in the house as always hey doing jace love you to have you coming in hope you're doing well 28 in the house with only eight minutes gone which is fantastic uh patty's performance the ms170 i got lucky woohoo um don't get uh to use my surgeon safe carb room yeah <laughs> yeah your 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 carburetor cleaning lab which is just on the floor um to be fair those steels actually they do quite a good job and I'm going to say I prefer the Husqvarna. That's just me. It's just my preference. And I find that the Husqvarna have less issues uh, when stuff has been sat for a little while. But um, uh, the steels are very good. I say I had exactly the same. If you watch one of my videos, Jace, it's got MS, MS80 on there. I'm sure it's MS80. Um, exactly the same thing. I pulled it eight times and, uh, and away it went. So uh, the customer was super happy. Uh, afternoon. I don't think Jason answered my question. If whether he was at work, I may have missed it. Um, Alexander's in the house. How are you doing, Alex? Hope you're doing well. Um, which is good. And I think I got everybody. I think everyone is in. Good, thanks, Mick. Watching, uh, waiting to see what goodies you have picked up. I have picked some goodies up, which is lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link out, just in case anyone wants to pop up. Feel free. And once I've got a few people, um coming on up i don't want to put my tags in there do i that's a bit stupid um once i've got a few people coming up if you want to come up then um once the chat's rocking and rolling i'll have a few few people in here just to check the older uh, keep an eye on the chat whilst i'm showing you guys what's going on otherwise i'm going to be ducking in and ducking out which would be a bit daft um <clears throat> so let's put the old um stream yard link out you're okay alex I'm, I'm glad to hear that edward thomas has come flying in too how you doing edward nice to see you hope you're doing well Right, there's the link to the stream yard. Phone's ringing. Don't know who that is. So I need to answer that phone quickly, very quickly, and just see who that is. Give me two ticks, and I'll be back.
Okay, that was just somebody who wants to donate some money to the charity that supports Riley. They did a Tough Mudder marathon, which is fantastic. And they raised just over, I think, two grand. So that was cool. Because you all know I do a lot of work for charity um, as well. I do my YouTube channel, and some of the money goes from that goes to the charity as well. Uh, I've got Blind TV in the house. How are you doing, Blind? Is that you, Blind? I can't, I can't see you, Blind. I'm not taking a mic. I can't see you. All I can see is a lamppost. I can't see your face, buddy. All I've got is just you. Or just somebody i can't see you mate so try and put get the camera near your face might be good i can't see a thing i've got this blank screen i saw i saw some lamp posts or something that's all i did see no nope, still can't see you mate i need to know it's you buddy boy if i can let you out put the camera close to your face buddy boy or to get into a bit of light i just can't see you no not seeing you mate it says it's you but uh oh there you go yeah that's you yeah definitely you okay cool how you doing, blind? Up, man? Sorry, mate. Oh, man. It's just so dark. I, I couldn't see you. Yeah, it's uh, you know five o'clock in the morning here. Oh, so, wakey, wakey! You know, working. wakey, wakey! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been up since three thirty this morning. Have you, buddy? I, well, I've been up the same time. I, I get up that time every, roughly every morning with Riley Boy. He wakes up every morning about half past two, so I feel your pain. Yeah, on the way to work and the grind. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand fully, mate. I understand fully. How's your how's your uh, how's your week been so far? Yeah, good weekend. Man, it was an awesome weekend. You know, uh, got my yeah. did my podcast on Sunday and cool. Just kind of, you know, had to hang back and relax and spend some time with my son. Mm -hmm. It's always a good thing. Yeah, family family is super important, as you know. Yeah, no doubt. So how did so, your, uh, how did your podcast go? It uh, went well, man. Um, we had a financial advisor on there, so we kind of talked about, you know, people have small businesses, you know, kind of how they could reach out to, in, you know, uh, independent, like, financial advisors for little to no money and, you know, get their business a lot stronger or help them with their business planning for their future. Type that's of thing. good. So that's good. Was, so, uh, so, did you get plenty of plenty of tips and tactics to um to speed you on your way? I sure did. Sure did, man. I uh, you know, even being one of the hosts of the show, you still you learn something every time you put someone else on the table to do the talking. It's uh, if if you're not learning, you're not growing. You know. Exactly. Exactly that. Well, yeah, not not just growing, but you're not not educating. You know, you got to. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's about edu further education. Even though the fact we've we've both left school. And what have you? It's about keeping your education and keeping your information coming in. And if you if you can share that at the same time, then you're on a winner. Yes, yes, no, yeah, I, I agree, agree completely. So, what yeah. time is it up there in your world of the? It's just gone midday, quarter past midday. Man, it's what it is. The sun's just a little bit ahead. That's all it is, buddy boy. But but don't forget, the sun will go down quicker this minute. Will your end? <laughs> oh, what time does it get dark around there nowadays? Um, because we're still sort of winter season at the moment, it's getting dark around about half six, seven o'clock. It's starting to knock off. You can't do much after that, you know. That's about like it is here. Yeah, it's not. It's not so, too shabby. It's not too shabby. Um, I can't wait for the summer to get here. I can. I can work in the shed to about ten o'clock at night. That'd be better. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm itching for it. That's for sure. I. Uh, well, I, I think everyone's had a bit of a, a bit of a long season off, especially within the lawn care or you know that sort of community. Everyone's had a long season off. I think this season has dragged quite 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 long. But I will say, I am hearing lawn mowers firing up, and I am seeing stuff on trees starting to bud. Um, so it won't it won't be long. The birds are starting to sing, so it won't be long. Wow. Yeah, you're Oklahoma here. We're still uh, as dry as could be, but I mean. I think we're going to hit our cold snap. I say the end of February. I mm -hmm. think that's where we're really going to see it. February, March, and then um, uh, beginning of April. I think we're going to get into the swing of things. I'm yeah. hoping earlier, and a lot of people are kind of saying earlier, but uh, this is the most mild winter I've ever seen here in in the uh, Oklahoma ever. Well, we we tend to get a bit of a cold snap again around February time. We tend to get a bit of a frost coming in, um, but it, it it don't hang around for long. We, we're not like you guys over there. We don't get a lot of snow, um, nothing like. That. If we get it, we get it in like a like for a week. That's about a lot. Um, I would like to get a bit of snow, but um, we, we 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 don't get it. So uh, we're fortunate. We just we just tend to tend to deal with more ice conditions rather than um, than snow stuff. 
Right. You want Riley to get in and build a snowman for the first time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He, Riley boy loves the snow, you know, um, especially having additional needs. He, you know, he, he, he loves it when it, when it just snows for a week cause he gets a week off school and I, I can't work when it's snowing because of the job that I, I do, I need to have really good sight of, uh, of a track. If a track is slightly covered up just with five millimeters of snow, that's me canceled. I can't work. So Man, I, I tell you, I tell you what, I, I think your job is pretty fantastic. That's pretty cool. And I didn't even know anything like that existed until I was on your, uh, when you were talking to us that one night live yeah and uh and i was like man that is the neatest thing ever well and so every time i go around tracks i see i look for go on I, oh no i was saying i look for uh that that kind of machine that you guys you guys have they're there uh, but the problem is is that the, the bulk of them work when you're asleep so you don't even hear them um well unless you're near the tracks and you really hear them because it actually shakes your house but um uh, we've got another machine called a high output machine, which is um, uh, what it does is it does a much uh, in depth job than what my machine does. Uh, Sparky, glasses down, please. Thank you, buddy boy. Um, what it does is it actually, it's, it's like a chainsaw. That's how I can build it. It's like a big chainsaw. The chainsaw is probably about uh, 75 feet long. <clears throat> and. And it's got these uh, the, the chains uh, of the teeth on the saw are about as big as two of my hands. They're like that. Wow. They're massive. Jeez. And uh, what it does is uh, the chain comes in two pieces, and we have to dig a hole under the track, and then we slide the rest of the chain in through the sleepers, so it so it's down at an angle. And then once once that's in place, we turn it on. And it, it moves around about, the train moves around about three miles an hour. It's not very fast, but it scoops out every single revolution. It scoops out about six ton of ballast. It takes it up, it washes it, it cleans it, it sorts it. Anything that is too small goes into a hopper, gets taken away on the back of the train. So if, if it takes out, say, six ton, washes it, sorts it, and it disposes of four ton to get rid of, it's got like an umbilical cord which tells the back of a train, I need four tonne of stone. And it brings fresh stone up and it chucks the old stone away and, and, it, recite, and it just replenishes what, what it's missing. So it is like a moving renewal. If, you're not, if you've never seen it before, um, go onto YouTube and punch in network rail high output train. The train is about three quarters of a mile long. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. I find it's that stuff pretty interesting and fascinating. It takes no prisoners. It eats cables. It eats concrete sleepers. It eats anything. It eats in anything. Yeah. Sounds it like eats, it. Wow. It eats anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's a serious, serious bit of kit. Um, Puller Ed has come into the chat. How you doing, Puller Ed? Nice to see you. Hello, Good morning, everyone. I can't stay, but wanted to pop in and give you. Uh, hope, hope you have a great day. Cheers, Ed. Thanks much. Much appreciated, buddy boy. Hope you're doing well. Let me pop up my uh, YouTube chat because that tends to work a little bit better. Yeah. When I'm. Uh, Going for it. Monica's tired. How you doing, Monica? Nice to see you, sweetheart. Hope you're doing well. Have you heard from you doing, Roy? Sparky? Have you heard from Roy? I rang Roy just about an hour ago. Uh, he didn't pick up. So either he's busy or he don't want to talk or, or whatever. I've got, no, got no idea. Um, okay. I, have, I, have, I have tried. Um, no doubt he'll ring me back a bit later on. He might even pop yeah. up the stream a bit later on. Okay. I've, got, I've got no idea. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Declan Ruan is out. How you doing? How you doing, Deck? Um, hope you're doing well, buddy boy. Um, doing outside lights. I've got new lights coming in today, Deck. I've got some more LEDs coming in, which is cool. You can't feel your fingers. Put some gloves on, sweetheart. Put some gloves on. Hello, blind man. Right, how are you? All right. Now, this is um, what I do. This is my primary job, cleaning the old dorm. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. Uh, hey, if, 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 if it turns a dollar, it's a job, right? That's what it's about. It's a you get story. Your, you're getting a bum out there, and you're earning, you're earning money. That's what it's about. That's what it's all about. Um, Curbs in the house. How are you doing, Kirby? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Hope you're doing well. So I'll put the link out one more time for those that are a bit slower on the uptake. Um, there's the link. And I'd like to get a few in here before uh, I move on to the bits of machinery. Yeah. So that should now be out. So who's uh, underneath this? Down here. That's Sparky. What's up, Sparky? Hello, mate. How are you? I can't. I can't hear him. You can't. Well, you can't hear him. Full stop. Hello, mate. I can hear. No, I can hear you, but I can't hear him. All right, I'll uh, I'll kick you out, Sparky, and then come back in, buddy boy. All right, let yeah, me kick yeah. you out. All right, I'll kick him out, and then he can come back and try again. 
All right, may come back in a minute. He'll be back. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, so you, you gave big mo big mowers to work on? Not big mowers, mate. I mean, you know, over here in the UK, we we, we just we just don't get uh, we, or there's not a lot of call for the stuff that you guys have. Um, so a lot of it is push mower or, or push mowers with drive, you know, with, with drive stuff. Um, but uh, it, 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 it keeps me busy. I'm happy with it, you know. Um, we, do, we just see what see what happens. Right. Um, but it's all good. Um, I got BWS Garden Maintenance in the house. How are you doing? Ho hope you're doing well. Monica is up. It's 4 a.m. here, so probably should fall back asleep. 4 a.m. What are you doing out of bed, Monica? Um, Spock has not come back yet. Even back in the back. Uh, Monica's in the house. Um, Big Bad Parks, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for asking. I'm doing really good. Uh, Pete Froud will be right back. Uh, Ken from Everything Spices in the house. How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, everybody yeah. down in the chat. Yeah, they're all rock and rolling. Red Oaks Mowers in the house. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Alexander is saying, BWS, I wouldn't mind using my tools in the chat. Okay. Uh, Jimmy C and friends. How you doing, Jimmy? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. And so is Donald. He's rocked in too. Uh, my Lord, 33 in the house. That's cool. Lovely little numbers for a little Monday midday, considering it's early early doors over your end. Just sorting out work. Uh, from that was buggered last night. I came in. All right, Tim Spannerman, how are you doing? Nice to see you. So the link is in the chat. Um, feel free to um, hit the old link and come on up. I've got Blind TV currently here. He's working his bum off. So what are you doing, Blind? You just, you're just cleaning. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I maintain uh, the athletics dorm here in uh, the college that I, I live in, the college town. Uh, okay. So I have, I have where all the football, basketball, baseball players are at, you know, okay. it's all the jocks. So uh, pretty much, you know, it's, uh, if, if there's anything physical or mechanically that needs to be fixed and or, you know, toilets, you know, the building, just the whole general maintenance side of it. Yep. So if it's got to be clean, I'm, my hands and knees are on, I'm scrubbing toilets or I'm changing light bulbs. No different to, no, no, no different to a normal day in my household, buddy. I, I've, I've got, I've got uh, an 18-year-old, a 17, a 15, and an 8, and uh, yeah, they don't know how to use a toilet brush either. <laughs> no, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, uh, I told my son yesterday, I said, hey, be expecting to start cleaning the toilet tomorrow when you come home because you know how 16-year-olds are. They don't know what a flush valve is. But two, two of mine... Lever. Two, two of my boys have actually lost the ability to communicate. They just grunt now. <laughs> you know, they're just about age. They're just about age. But uh, eventually yeah. they come back. But yeah, they've, they've lost the ability to to communicate, oh, which no is a uh, which is a shame. But uh, I, I can remember me being me being very similar. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it is. So what, what time do you, do you so you knock on there? What time? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah. So I get up at three thirty, and then I walk from here. To like typically to the gas station because I really like the gas station coffee where it was right by my house. Yeah, I hear. So I walk there and then I will walk a mile down the road to my to my job, you know. And yeah. Get here about four forty-five in the morning, and clock in, and start grinding. What time do you What time do you work there till? One. I'm oh, not too shabby then. So you got, got you've got the afternoon to yourself. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's kind of a, I mean, the hours are good, uh, as far as because I still have the whole entire day yeah. to do my uh, other other jobs because then I have the doctor's office that I maintain, and then I'm either doing landscaping or snow plowing in in the season that's called for. Yeah. So that's all good, brother. It's all good. It's all, it's like, it, all, it all brings in it all brings in the, it brings in the dollar. I you know, I've got a full time job as you know, and um. I mainly work nights, uh, which gives me all day to myself, pri primarily to look after my son. Uh, me and Mrs. P are both part-time carers. We, we care for him. She cares for him at night time. I care for him during the day. Um, so I get him ready for school, get him his breakfast, get his bath sorted out, wash him. Cause he, 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 he still needs cleaning even at eight years old because he, 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 won't, he can't do it. He'd be, he'd, be, he'd be the same when he's 26. So I just have to wash his bits for him and make sure he's doing it right. And uh, you typically... Do you typically sleep while he's at school? Is that about when you go pass out? Exactly that, yeah. So as soon as the bus turns up at around about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, 
over here in the UK, there's not so much of a bus service like you guys have for schools. Um, not a lot of school buses. Right. But um, because he goes to a special ed school, um, he actually uh, has, a, has a bus turn up. Um, and they take they take them all in, so that's cool. So yeah, well, once he's gone, once he's gone on his, on his merry way, he, uh, I then get my head down because I didn't work last night. I'm in day mode, but I'm working tonight, so I crash a bit late this afternoon. Oh, I see. Do you guys typically work ten to seven, or is that how uh, it works it, for you? It all, it all depends. It depends. It depends where I'm working, um, because some of the possessions I, I, I have to work inside a possession. Uh, which is where the signaller who owns a track, he will put two red signals up, um, stop all the trains, and then we have been, been primarily sort of three to four hours work time of, so, of, of solid work time. Um, but depending on where you are, you could be working what we call a belly, a belly rail uh, or, or a belly track, which is uh, a side, uh, not a side, but like a, a, an offshoot, which is not a main line. You can get those possessions a little bit earlier. So you might get on at, at half past nine, ten o'clock at night until seven but on the main line you don't man normally start till about one o'clock in the morning and you got to be off by four uh before, oh, wow. the, before the first train runs and we, we get fined not personally but the company gets fined uh one one thousand pound per train per minute Ooh, wow yeah uh, i can see what time is of the essence yeah and that, that's the standard service and if you have something like the gatwick express which is you know fast fast to london from major stations uh, that's two thousand pound a minute per train per minute. Ooh. So if if you delay one train by three minutes, that's three grand or six grand if it's if it's an express. The problem is, is that because you delayed it by three minutes, that may not meet its connection at the other end, and that train may have left, which means that train will have to wait for the connection. So you now delayed two trains, and because you laid them two trains. You may have delayed another 15 trains in between that because you're holding the track up. So it so all stacks up. It, it it don't it don't stop it, the clock don't stop counting until the next the next morning at one o'clock in the morning, and it, you could end up with like half a million. Ooh. So it sort of pays to it sort of pays to get in and get out and be quick, you know. Um, yeah, time is time is definitely of the essence. Wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you know what you're doing because. Uh... Yeah, obviously you wouldn't be in a position if you didn't. Well, uh, my 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 job primarily is to is to take all the dips and the bumps and the kicks out of the track when the train is fumbling down down the line at about 100 miles an hour. Um, and sometimes my train gets called to a spot that is um, particularly bad, um, where there's a risk of derailment. So then I have to correct it. And my train would correct the track geometry to around about 0 0.2 of a mil. Um, and I, and I treat about anywhere from quarter of a mile to a mile of track a night. Which wow. is, uh, do I work for Network Rail? Says um, BW. Sure, yeah, I do, mate. Yeah, I'm up for, for Network Rail, mate. Yeah. Um, do you work for Network Rail track engineering side? Yes, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm what, what we call the P way, the permanent way section. So I'm maintenance, not not uh, operations. Uh, just tweeted you out, says Tina. Cool. Thank you, Tina. Right. So um, the link is there. Feel free for people to come on up and have a little look um, what I've got and uh, have a chat. Blind's up here as well. He's busy cleaning toilets and having a, and a general good day. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to jump up here, so I can do that. Because That's fact, cool, mate. That's cool. I, 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 I do appreciate I you coming up. Talk, yeah, I enjoy talking to you. It's time to type person out. I like what you're saying, and I don't want to get off here. And this can be a four-hour chat right here, and I'm, I'm I'll be my here. productivity level will be the greatest. I'll be here for a little while, buddy boy. So when, when you get a five-minute downtime, come on up. You know the links there. Come on up and uh, come and have a chat. You're always welcome. Will do, brother. You guys stay safe. Look after yourself now. All right. Take care. So BWS has said, uh, sometimes I go to a car boot sale on a Sunday, Alexander not being there for a while, but picked up a multi-tool for 20 quid each. Don't need much doing to it. Carb clean, new plug uh, adjustments, etc. Well, that's what I've oh, That's cool. Um, so whilst there's no one about, I'll, um, I'll show you what I've got. And then if anyone else wants to come on up, feel free to uh, hit the old link. I, I've got a, a thing set, so I do hear a little noise when um, someone comes up in the old basement. So the link's there. Feel free. I've got 29 in the house. Which is lovely. Let's just check the old thumbs up, thumbs down. I bet I've got forty-five thousand thumbs down. 
No, I've got one, I think. <clears throat> let's have a let's just refresh that. Let's have a little look. Uh, let's pause it. Uh, one thumbs down, 23 thumbs up, 24 with mine, which is fantastic. 25 now, it's good. So if you haven't hit the thumbs up already, it'd be much appreciated if you do because it helps towards the growth of my channel. Growth of my channel means that you guys prosper from it. So just going to turn my fire down and um, we're going to have a little look. Nice one, Mick. Never know, but few of my pals work for Network Rail. Also, just finished working on the West Coast main line yet at Christmas year. I, I wasn't out Christmas, mate. Um, I don't do any of that. I don't do no bank holidays, no Christmas, none of that. Um, not at the moment anyway. That may change in the future. But, um, yeah, that's good. Right, so let me turn my fire down, and we'll have a little look, see what I've got. Um, some stuff I might have to take with me podcast microphone off because you won't hear me because I'll go around here, you can't hear um so i might have to turn that off um redneck uh not redneck sorry red oaks um mick did you find the cam on the last machine uh did you find the cam on the last machine no i haven't can't can't source it at the moment however i do know where there's another machine uh but what i'm hearing and seeing on other forums is they are known for it uh the four strokers because people just don't they put all in and they just don't keep an eye on it and uh from what i'm hearing lots of people um suffer with the same issue which is a shame because a four-stroke machine is worth the money um so it may just be a question of it just sits there until i can find another machine um to use as a donor um but the cam is definitely an issue it's cooked and i've seen a lot a lot worse cams i was toying with the idea toying i might take the inlet cam off and put it up against the um exhaust cam and just take some calibrations off of that to see if they are exactly the same they should be uh there may be a, a, a discrepancy so i use my calipers to check and if i can if they are exactly the same i'm just wondering what a 3d printed version would do i'm just wondering if a pretty pretty printed uh, a 3d printed version may be a good option so i can take a 3d print of the inlet one and that would give me an, an outlet one that's that's an idea i had you can get it done in aluminium i'm not sure how it would work with aluminium but we shall see uh ajp how are you doing sud spills over oh sorry sud over spills how are you doing nice to see you hope you're all doing well uh 40 in the house my lord that's brilliant for a little monday morning little monday midday link is in the chat people if you want it again i'll just punch it out for you um let us know what you think about having a 3d printed um exhaust cam it is plastic so i don't think it would be a massive issue i think possibly work um but we shall see so anyway let me turn the fire down quick because it ain't that cold in here um actually it's not too bad at all so i just i was taking the chill out of the air uh, lucky seven's come in the house how you doing lucky let me put my youtube chat back up it does tend to work very well uh it's not me scrapping my squirrels one across my across my shed and heard my squirrel called bruce uh customers keep coming in and bothering me and stopping me listening <laughs> where do you work uh Barstow? where do you work buddy <clears throat> lucky seven's in there how you doing lucky um links in the chat if anyone wants it um and everyone else is just saying hello to everybody else i, I was just thinking of 3d yeah exactly granddad i think it could be an, it could be an option don't know quite what the um, durability of it would be. I don't want to sell a machine that hasn't got a high durability. <clears throat> um, I did know. I did watch a video of someone actually made a a cam by hand. Um, literally got a piece of plastic and machined it himself, which is fantastic. I don't have the machines here to do that. I could just ask him. I say to send me a spare one. It'd be a bit cheeky. I work for myself uh, in a small time machines. I have a small machine shop. Fantastic. Lovely. Right. So what have we got? So first on the bench, I'm going to show you um, is this nice little still. Um, is this a 40? Uh, yeah. FS 40 strimmer uh, curve shafter. So it is only a, it is only a hobby. Um it's in good condition, um, to be fair. It doesn't look like it's done a great deal of work. Uh, the year is a 2013 model, which is quite nice. I've got Lucky 7 just coming in the house here. Luck, how are you doing? Um, can you take your hat off for me, Lucky? And if you can just do a Irish jig for me, that would be great. You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> here he is. How are you doing, Luck? Good how morning, doing, everybody. How you doing? You well? 
Ah, uh, doing okay. How was everybody's weekends? How is, right. Hello, everybody in the chat, family. Yeah, everyone, everyone's doing good. Everyone's behaving. Everyone's being nice to each other, which is lovely to see. So I've got this steel FS40. Uh, it's only a hobby. It's only a hobby trimmer. It's not an industrial one. Um, and don't forget, I haven't even pulled any of these over. This is as is. I don't get the opportunity just to pull anything over, um, which is a shame. I'd always like to have a little a little go at it. But um, why somebody would throw this out? Um, a 2013 model steel strimmer. They retail at about, I don't know, about 170 quid, somewhere in there. Um, so this should should have good bucks to it. Uh, let's just check the old fuel lines. Can you hear me right, Mike? Because I keep one off my microphone. No, I hear you just fine. I think they threw it out because they got tons of money to be able to buy a new one for the season. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so right. what they call a donation to the charity of the, uh, the poor. Yeah, so the fuel line is good. Um, it's actually got a fuel line on there. The filter's on there. Everything is where it should be. It's got a little tiny rubber ring. The tank is good. It doesn't actually smell as if it's had fuel in it. It doesn't doesn't stink at all. Excellent first pick. For still FS40 strimmers are really good powered. Yeah, good. Uh, the primer. Yeah, it's not a bad primer. That seems okay. Uh the exhaust is rusty. It's not been used for a while. It doesn't look cooked on the fins. Does it pull over? Yeah. Plenty of compression. So I think that should be a winner. Suds over spill. Say again. Suds over spill. Saying hi to me. I'm just saying hi. Okay, cool. Um, Keep up with the chat. Pick. Yeah. Uh, you get different grades. Uh, exact. Okay, Grandad. I need to look into that, man. If, if I can make an exhaust cam up, from 3D, uh, it might pay to speak to that. Who's that fella that's doing the Batman car at the moment out of 3D printing stuff? Who's he? Um, uh, is it Denzel Destroyer? Is it him? Uh, Snobby would know. I might have a word of him. Um, we shall see. Uh, it, it could be, um, it could be, it could be a good one. Um, so I'm looking at that. Um, Oh, Jez, is it Jez? Yeah, I might, I might email Jez and just see what see what Jez says. Um, I might be able to help me out with with some information. Um, we'll, we'll see how we get on. So I got that one, and if I if I can sell that one, that's my money back that and, and some. So that's cool. Uh, the next one is this little old girl. Which is a McCulloch MDAHE25 made in the USA, um, which is cool. Um, all the throttle works on it. Yeah, the carburetor doesn't look like it's done a lot of work. The prime bulb's in good condition. It's got an NGK on it. You can always tell how much work these are done by the teeth. Um, it's got some grass in there, so I would say this hasn't long been used. It's got some grass in there, a little bit of oil I can see, which is cool. It's got the same blade on it as a home like Mighty um, a banana. <laughs> God, what, Mike? Have you been drinking at work already? It's still early. Um, I think a lot of people throw stuff away because um, it sits around and gums up and the carbs just don't. Just, yeah, I, think, I think you're right. So we've got this one next. This is, as I say, this uh, McCulloch, which is a uh, cheaper alternative to a Husqvarnay. Um, what year we sat on this one? Uh, made in the US, oh, assembled in the USA. It doesn't mean it's actually made in the USA. It says made in the USA there and assembled. So it might be Chineseium and uh, just put together. Let me try and find a date on it. Uh, I'm not seeing a date anywhere. There we go. Here we go. You better, uh, better be careful if it's Chinese made. It might have that coronavirus on it. <laughs> Um, this is a 2002 model, so she's knocking on. She's knocking on. Um, but the reason I, I chose this one compared to the partner one I had the other week is this carburetor should be quite a common carburetor, and you should be able to get um, this for spares, quite simply. Uh, the primer bulb seems to be okay. I don't like the fuel tank. The fuel tank is absolutely tiddly on it. Literally, it's about a cup full. So you'll be forever filling this up. Uh, it could do with a fuel filter. 
but I can see that the, it is actually putting what, what remnants of fuel that is in there through, and the fuel smells quite good. The tank smells quite good, but look at the size of that tank. That tank is a tiddler. That's it. You get a couple. You get a couple. That's small. <laughs> That's tiny. But there you go. Uh, compression. Yeah. Yeah, it's got compression. So that, that stands half a chance. So what do you think of the McCulloch, people? Uh, what do we think of the McCulloch? You'll like, you'll like the, uh, the, uh, the steel because of a name, obviously. Uh, uh, just chatting, just chatting, just chatting, just chatting. Okay. So that was that one. And then the next one, let me put my YouTube pop-up out. That works better for me. Um, my tools are doing no uh, no work and need some using yet. So the next one is, I've got this one, which is a multi-tool, and it's made by The Handy or The Handyman. Has anyone, does anyone know if this is sold? I'm guessing a Lidl, an Aldi, something along that line. That's what I'm guessing. Um, and, and I think that that's done by Lowe's. Is it Lowe's? Yeah, I think it's like a cheap Lowe's setup. So I wonder, I wonder what what store this one comes out of in the UK. Then I'm guessing it could be it could be an Aldi, it could be a Lidl, or something like that. Does, does anyone know? Still an Eco, uh, our prime here in Texas. Yeah, they are uh, <laughs> more liquid than a cup of coffee. And I know, I know, I know. It, but it might just do someone for a little job. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not. No one professional is going to pick it up, right? So it just be someone popping around in the garden. Uh, Ian's changed the name. How are you doing? Um, uh, good afternoon. Anyone know where, where this handy's come from? Um, you could, yeah. Right. So that's that. Uh, let's check the year on this one. Uh, if I got a, if I got any anything on it. Uh, it's not saying when it was actually manufactured. It's got a customer services hotline and spares number. I'm not seeing a year of manufacture. Looking looking at the machine, I would say it's not done a great deal of work. Um, but it's making a very funny rattly noise. So I'm guessing I'm hopefully might have got onto a, onto a good one here. And let's have a little look and see what the uh, see what the old lines are doing. Yep, yeah, the fuel filter is off and the line is off. So that's probably I'm hoping that's the reason that one's come to me is because. Um, the fuel lines are actually off. Yeah, right on, Nick. I got you, mate. I'm going to leave the camera on off. Up to you, buddy boy. You can come on up. There he is. Hi, right, Nick. Yeah, all right, mate. I'm doing really well. Um, I'm doing really well. So that's got no no fuel lines on it. Um, so uh, that should be uh, a good little machine. Look similar to that one I picked up. Okay. Um, So this also came with. Let me just, let me just, uh, put mic on mute. It came with a curve shaft attachment, uh, which has done a bit of work. It's got a little, a little uh, self-feeding bobbing attachment, uh, and it's got a standard square shaft um, uh, attachment. So that will fit any other square shaft, which is cool. It comes with that. It also comes with a uh, chainsaw option as well. And I don't know about you, but that that chainsaw that's never been used. That's never been used once. Oh, there's Nick. Is Nick again? I pressed yeah. the wrong button. That's all right, mate. So that chainsaw has never ever been been Ooh, used. Nice. Never, no, that, that, that chain is absolutely brand spanking new. So that comes with that attachment. Never been used. Which is cool. You can tell by it's not been used because there's no markings up here either. So it comes with that. And it also comes with the brush cutter attachment as well uh, on top of it. Um, and that's never been used either. That, that blade is absolutely brand spanking new. Never been used. So that's cool. Um, hopefully there's nothing... Um, Nothing internally wrong with it um, that will cause any issues. Um, so I'm happy with that. Wix sell them, Mick, I think. Okay, mate, cool. I'll have a little look. Alexis, how you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you. Oh, I've got coffee skin on my coffee, and we all know that'll make me chuck. 
I can't be drinking coffee with skin. I don't know about you, Nick, but it makes me want to hurl. Ugh, horrible, mate. I can't, I can't do that. I, I, I'll, I'll be chucking my breakfast up. Um, take that out. Lovely. Um, so I've got those two. That's them two bits of kit. Oh, sorry, three. So we've got a brush cutter, strimmer, chainsaw multi-tool. I don't know the year. Uh, it will be on the engine somewhere, but it is just missing the fuel line. So that should be, hopefully, a quick fix. I've been still strimmer, no idea. They, they're generally pretty good, although you can buy copy carburetors for them um, at, at relatively cheap um, prices. Yeah, the fuel does do it. That's right. Um, that's right. The fuel does does kill them, uh, the old fuel lines. Let me bring my YouTube chat back up. It's just every time I, I bring someone in. Um, Wix is sub, I think Mick here called. Uh, hello, Peter. Alexis is saying hello. Curb. I've got to run. I have to take the truck to a dealer for a service. Yeah, okay, Curbs. No worries, mate. I'll see you soon. So that's that one. Let me uh, bring the next bit up, uh, which I'll put over here because it's quite heavy. Ooh. Ooh. So here's the next bit of kit. Let me just bring it down. I don't want to fall off the bench and destroy everything. Uh, here's the next bit of kit. Uh, if I can get you to turn around. There it is there. It's a nice little generator. Uh, I picked up. This is a Wolf Power um, 950 model. Um, I don't have a date on this one either. Uh, it's round here on the side. Let me just bring it round. So the year of manufacture on this little cookie is... Uh, da, 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 da. Not saying, not saying, not saying, not saying, not saying, not saying. But I'm guessing around about 2000, 2002, somewhere in there. That's what I'm guessing. Um, let's have a look at what the carb looks like and the tank. Oh, really, really dry in there. Really dry. Uh, tank looks quite good. It's got a filter in there. Two filters in there as well. So that's cool. It's got a reset button on the front. Uh, it's got a voltage meter as well. It's got an on and off switch, which works. And this is for the two for the two forty socket that uh, we that we use over here. Let's just test the old compression on this one. Oh. Yeah, plenty of compression on there too. So that should be a good one. Oh. So that's good. Um, what we can talk about, got to run to uh, buy carbs. Yep, cool. Right, let's bring it back around. And then the next one is over here. It's on the bench. Let me just blow myself up, Nick. Two seconds, buddy boy. Oh, uh, no. So there's the next one. It is a little rhino lawnmower, a uh, push mower, and um, all plastic, so no, no rusting. I've got a little, I want to be a Honda, but I'm not allowed to be because um, I'm Chinese. Uh, the year on it is 2016, which is not too bad. Um, but they did say in the listing for this one that uh, it's very hard to pull over. The pull cord is very, very stiff. And when I picked it up, um, the handle was all bent over and the, the pull, um, the dead man's handle cable was caught up. So I was hoping the chance I took was that the cable could not be pulled. Um, and I'm hoping that just by engaging the dead man's handle it will pull over with ease but he said it was very very stiff and so let's just see what that actually pulls over like and uh, we'll have a little look So, yeah, that pulls over with lovely ease. It's got compression. It's got all the stuff I want. So, um, hopefully, we can get that little puppy running. So, yeah, we've got that looks good. The still looks really good. The uh, They all look good. It's as simple as that. They all look really good. So, super happy with, with all of those. Um, and I paid less than £100 uh, for the entire lot, uh, which I think is a good price. Um, and it only took me about 40 minutes of my time to go and pick it all up. Uh, get it going, Mick. You never know uh, when you want... Uh, the electrics cut out. What's that? What are you on about, buddy? Hey, Mick, I've, what's I've, that? I've, I've, the generator. Yeah, I've got, I've got a generator already. Um, all it works. Say again, Mike. 
What's that little lever in the front? Is that to raise up the deck? That little lever on your right side of the wheel? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, wow. the, 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 the little brake. The little brake thing. Yep. Yeah. It's hot adjustment. We have them attached to the wheels. It, it is effectively. It is effectively. Oh, all right. All right. Um, but that's just a cheap one. Um, I think you can buy that sort of that sort of thing for around about a hundred and forty pound somewhere in there. Brand new. It's a two thousand sixteen model, so I'm hoping um, it might be all right. Um, shall I try and fire it up? Shall I try and fiberglass deck? Plastic deck, all plastic. Um, wow. it, it's a, it's a it's a it's a what I call a a Chonda. It's a Chinese Honda. Huh. Um, so, we have a um, lot of metal. We have all metal ones. I, I really barely ever ever see any plastic ones here in the U.S. Over here, over here, they're becoming more and more common. People like these little tiny um, lawnmowers, plastic, because they're light. They don't rust. Um, and lots of people here where I live, it's different to in the states. We live on each, we, we live in each other's pockets. We're next door to each other. And when you say next door, you can hear each other talking next door. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, they've only got they've only got small gardens. They're always newer builds. They've got tiny gardens. By the time you put a, a barbecue and a trampoline in it, it's full. It's done. Um, yeah. Compared to compared to my size my size lawn, I've got quite a nice lawn. But, uh, but that's why they like these. And I I can sell these all day for like fifty to ninety quid all day long, all day. That's nice. Um, give it a pull, laugh out loud. Yeah, okay, let's uh, shall I fire it? I'll try and fire it up then. Let me get a bit of carb spray in there, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, right, Lucky. What's going on, Nick? Hi, right, mate. Hey, Mick, are you sure you know what you're doing? Do what, sweetheart? I said, are you sure you know what you're doing? If you want to come down here, baby, and show me, you're more than welcome. <laughs> oh, young man. <laughs> I think we started doing this stuff yesterday. I know. Yeah, but once you get up to mix age, you start slowing down. <laughs> He's just to wind me up. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> hey, Nick. Yeah. I don't like the smell of that. that. That smells rancid. It's got like water in there. So I need to get a few pulls. Yeah, yeah. I need to give it a few pulls to uh, get that stuff out of there. Oh, cheers, Lucky. You're welcome. That... God, mate, it's bloody, it's bloody cold out here. Jimmy. There's Jimmy's seat. What's up? What's up, brother? How you doing? How What's going on, Jimmy? Well, uh, you know, up early. Yeah, Jimmy. Up all night. Up all night, really. What's up, Mick? Mick? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, buddy. Lucky, good to see y'all. Go on, Jimmy. Nothing, you know. Just up all night making a video and no chatting, away, sandwiches. chatting away and doing the things you do. Uh, yeah, you know, that's exactly, you know. Yeah, Mama Q, how you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you, darling. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Mama Q, what's up, girl? Yeah. So I just picked up a little, a little tool, a little, little machine haul, Jimmy. Got about eight or nine items in. Or no, sorry, five items in. Yeah. Uh, Paid paid pennies for them. Pennies didn't cost a lot of money. Well, I've been listening, man. I've been here pretty much since about ten minutes into your stream. Okay. Man. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna give us all. Just gonna give this, this old girl a bit of a pull because he's got a bit of water in the cylinder head. Yeah, yeah. Hey Alex, good to see you, girl. Alex, Alexis Kit. Hello. I, know, I, I call her Alex all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always doing it. Um, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh my lord! I think this is a classic case of my lawnmower doesn't run, so I'm going to fill it right up with oil. Ah, uh, <laughs> you know, I've I've made that mistake. <laughs> hey, as long as it's not like a pukey brown, you're all uh -huh. set. That's probably like my mum's gravy, that pukey brown. 
Okay, so just so you know, the oil should be here. Yeah. Where'd it, it go? Here. Nice. <laughs> so I'm not going to pull it over just yet. I need to take some oil out of there. I've probably, yeah. got about, I've probably got about five liters of spare oil I can use. Yeah, it might be a little easier if you get some of that out of there. The other one mistake I made, and, and, and it's funny, is I leaned the mower up in the corner over the winter. So all the oil ran to the top side. Yeah. I'm like, ah. Carburetor was clogged. The filter was, the air filter was, you know, oil logged. <laughs> Not water logged, oil logged. Yeah. That was a silly one. At least that answers my question. Did it put, did anyone put any oil in it? I, I haven't got a problem of it, of it not being happy and rubbing no oil. So we'll take a bit out of here and we'll uh, we'll give that just a minute just just to, just to pull through, and uh, we'll see if we can't get it to fire up. I got a minute. Bloody cold out here. You cold? What's up? You got you got more layers on than an onion. What's up with you? You look pretty warm <laughs> to me. I'm bloody not. You look, you look, you look, you look like a seventeen-tog mattress. You what don't do have they? a hood on. <laughs> you don't have a hood on. You barely zipped up, and you ain't. You can't see the steam coming out of your mouth, so it ain't that cold. I bet it's. I bet it's above forty degrees. Oh, it's it's got a. I mean, over here at the moment, it's about it's about ten degrees today. It's lovely. I've, I'll turn the heating off. It's too warm. Yeah, ten degrees. Yeah, yeah. We'll translate that. <laughs> hey guys, I have to get back to work. It's uh, eight o'clock. Time for me to get to work. So we'll Lucky. talk to everybody later. I will be in the chat listening, giving some support there, Mick. Hey, uh, uh, get back to work. All right. Later. See you, Nick. See you, Jimmy. Catch you later, Lucky. Everybody in the chat. We'll talk to you soon. That's seriously filled up with oil. Seriously, as it must be about it must be about two liters in there. Oh no, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Alley in Scotland is two degrees and wet. Apparently, yeah, it was it was raining here earlier on, uh, but it ain't it ain't too shabby now. It ain't too shabby now. So you got your green screen thing going on, then, Jimmy? Green screen me up. Yeah, man, you know, uh, why not, right? They gave it to yeah. you, so... Yeah, why not? I, I, I haven't dabbled with it yet, but... Um, well... Uh, can you can you do it? Can you do it so that you're playing one of your videos in the background? Well, that'd be quite cool. Um, um, yeah, but that's another app, I believe. Okay. Uh, or actually, yeah. Asking? Yeah, you can actually... You can screen share... If you have if you have two monitors or or pick it up and yeah. and, and play another video, okay. but so this I is just that actually. Trying to start. That's all right. Um, let me finish this real quick. I just have a um a blue moving blanket hanging behind me, and it worked. It's barely even blue. It's almost, it's it's a lighter blue than the than the blue on my sticker. Or on my wall, I should say. Just playing around with it. I think it's pretty cool with my icon behind me. I don't know. Yeah, no, I like, yeah, I like it. I like it. I mean, I mean, each to their own. Uh, it's your channel, if you like it. But it's but, but it stays, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, each to their own. You know. Um, I, I I would like to do something with my workshop. I'm, I'm looking at changing my workshop around slightly to bring out an L shape of my workbench so that I can turn around and just have a, like what you got, have a back wall. I don't, I yeah. just have, I'll just have tools and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah. I might, I might do hey, that. Are you bit. talking about, are you talking about green screens? Yeah. Jimmy's got, Jimmy's got his green screen up with uh, Jimmy C giving it all the big. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I, uh, I went to Walmart. And bought a green sheet, like, yeah, or like a a, a bedspread, mm -hmm. and that bedspread works identical to what you get on a yeah. uh, from like a professional green sheet. What you need oh, to I do is you. get some backlighting, uh -huh. some uh, small lights that you can use as a backlighting, so it doesn't overcast your shadow onto it. 
And once you do that in the green sheet, it's like seven dollars worth of equipment. And you'll have yeah. the green screen. Yeah, I spent like ten bucks and got the whole package coming from Wish. But uh I was just playing around. I just took a moving blanket and tacked it up and you know, it's working. I just wanted to oh, see wow. how it worked, you know. It's not too I don't I mean it ain't perfect because the StreamYard thing's a little different. I actually found another app that I'm using on uh on Zoom. How you that guys actually doing looks on better than this, so you know, you, this is still a little fuzzy, but damn, it's all in there. It's fun. Mick has a green no, screen of messy tools. Did cheers for you? <laughs> yeah, uh, just to let just to let you know, Tina. No, I'm not at a bus stop. <laughs> what are you doing then, Nick? Where, where are you at? What are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my voucher work at a veterans drop-in centre. Oh, cool. Okay. I do about thirty hours a week. Do you really? Look at look out for you. That's good. Uh, good on you. Good on you. Look yeah. out for you. So what is it? What, so what is it you do there, buddy? Do, do you cook? Do you make teas, coffees? What was it you do? No, I do all the groundwork and that. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, about, good, on good on you. I think I think all together there's about thirty five acres. That's really good because uh, the vets in our country, let alone other countries, are not being looked after. So that, that, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah. That, I'm a vet as well. Good man. I was in the army. Good man. Best time of my life. Yeah, I did a little bit. Didn't do a great deal. I did a little bit in the Princess Diana's Royal Regiment. Did a little tiny bit. Oh, oh that's not your fault. Someone had to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> I see one thing. I see one thing you never lost was your sense of humour. No. No, I was a fusilier, mate. Oh, was you? Yeah. We wear budgies in the hat. Did you have a? Did you have a big, big finger like that? Huh? Did you have a Did you have a big feather going up? Yeah, yeah I had you a had, white budgie. You had your, you had your aerial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Alexis. Have a good day. Hopefully, the doctor is a nice visit. <laughs> Bam! Mo, much better. up, Doug? Mick's just trying to get some oil out of this mower so it might see if it starts. <laughs> it's a bit full, as in to the top. <laughs> it's a shame I should have kept it because it's really good oil, too. Well, you, you're not putting it in a reusable container? I, no, this is going in a, re, in a recycling container, but um, uh, it's a little bit right. I, I, reckon yeah. pro, I reckon it's probably about a liter and a half overfill. I'll yeah. get him I'm down. I'm down to about here now. It should be here, so I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always save used oil. You never know when you need it. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, that's what I painted my shed with. Uh huh. A bit of bit of uh, used oil and a bit of diesel, and it, uh, it done well. Yeah. Let me throw the old link out there in case uh, Dougie Boy wants to come on up. Edward Thomas, no, I'm not going to get a warm oil because we've got a tractor to do that. You got a tractor? Yeah, but they won't let me drive it. They don't trust me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> to be fair, Nick, I wouldn't trust you on a mobility scooter. Uh -huh. oh, I broke my nose on, on one of them once. It doesn't show. <laughs> no, me and my mate went. No, Mick, really. when, when uh, me and my mate were on leave. We got rather drunk and we nicked his grandparents' mobility scooters and we doing jousting. And I got a... And I got a... Well, I'm a crotch straight in my nose. <laughs> right, I've got the oil where it should be. All right, it's, it's a little bit overfilled, but it, it might drop as it fin as it heats up and thins out a touch. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit of that. Oh, I love a guy that ain't afraid to use starting fluid. It's carb cleaner, same thing, same thing. <laughs> exactly. Muggy, what's up, Muggy? 
hanging in the hanging in the chat. Right. Now catch up. Right, I'll catch you later, Mick. I'm going for the blue. Later. Later, Gator. All right. Catch you later, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button. I think I did already. I'll check. Yep. 39 oh. likes, 35 watching. Yeah, lovely. Not bad. Me. Wild Bill, hello. I got a feeling it might be the plug. That plug is a, is a Chinese plug. Chinese plug. Yeah. yeah. You got a good one? I'll have a look. I'll get a bit of a clean up first. Give it, give it a bit of wire brush treatment. Uh huh. Used to drive the, the the wife crazy stealing her emery boards for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Mister Doug. There's Doggy Boy. Come on, Doug. Up you come. Hey, Doug. Good morning. Good morning. What's morning, up, Emma? How you Not doing? Not much, Jenny. How you doing, brother? I'm having having a good time, you know. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I've been okay. cranking out videos lately. Oh, What's up, Jared Vlogs? I'm going to say hello to everybody and oh. hello to the ones that say hello to me in the chat. Hello to y'all. There you go. JJ Moses, what's up? Yeah, I ain't seen, uh, <laughs> I ain't seen me mom put anything on. Uh, <laughs> On our channel in a long time. She's been busy and yeah. been sick with this flu and and everything. Yeah. I like your background, Jimmy. I like you. Yeah, you, hey, you I like, like that man? <laughs> yeah, man, that thing's cool as anything. Yeah, I had a uh, a friend Ghana Banana drew that for me. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> I was I was happy when it worked in the green screen, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you, you were, huh? <laughs> Especially because my copy of it, it's all white around it, but for some reason, green screen knew enough to black it out, and it looks good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it, man. I really do. Yeah. I'm working on uh, getting me some T-shirts made. Show up very well. No, yeah, no, nope, nope, show up with the camera on. <laughs> I, I fired on up. She fired. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can turn this off without going too far. You froze up, Jimmy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, my my internet don't like me. Don't like me streaming. Yeah, you know, but I'm working on some T-shirts, and this is what we got going so far. Oh man, that's cool as anything, right? And that is a beer. That is a beer in his hand. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Now I was thinking about putting that uh that logo on the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mick. With this thing turned off, you can see I just got a, I just have a uh, blue blanket, a moving blanket behind me, and it ain't, mm -hmm. even, you know. My wife's been ordering Here these screens. Uh, she does a lot of camera. Uh, okay. uh, for, you know, photography. Photography, uh -huh. and she's got these screens that she ordered on. Um, June J O O M. Yep. 
Boy, there's some beautiful ones on there. <laughs> Gotta love that, huh, Mick? Drain a little oil out of it, clean the plug. Oh, man. Does he hydro lock? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know how it didn't hydro lock, but um, <laughs> it, it had about had about fifteen liters of, of oil in it. <coughs> Did he come in that way, Mick? The, 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 they poured too much oil in it, Doug. Yeah, that's what it was. But they oh, couldn't, couldn't get it running, and uh, they thought get a bit more oil. But uh, if you those things, it says pump three times on the primer. You got to prime that mm -hmm. thing fifteen times. Uh, that's standard with, with a Chinese machine. Mm -hmm. That runs quite sweet. So there you go. That's me. Yeah. That, that's my that's my money back. If I sell it, that's my money back. I ain't never seen a white cover on one. <laughs> it's probably supposed to be green, but it's probably just mold. It's um. It's called a Rhino, uh, so it's grey, grey colour. I don't know. It's, it's it's a Chinese wannabe Honda, but uh, it runs all right. You know, it'll, it'll do someone a turn. I think pull that cover off and paint it grey. <laughs> Look, brother, I'm in it. I'm in it to flip it, flip it and burn, flip right. and burn, get it in, get it out, in and out. Right. In other words, hit it with the WD, make it shine, push it out in the ad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, maybe take, maybe take a minute to check the air filter. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I, sh I should give it a blade sharp and balance. And I, I, I do yeah. it with all, my, with all my stuff, Jim, because you, you just don't know, um, mm -hmm. you don't know what people have done to it. So I, I don't like stuff coming back. Uh -huh. um, so I do hand on heart. I do check all my mowers over, and uh, they're all checked for safety stuff and what have you. So, and what I do also is I run my machines uh, from cold uh, for ten for about ten minutes. Um, and then anything electrical, anything fuel, that should come up. Any problems you yep. got, that, that should rear its ugly head. Um, and then once it's been run for 10 minutes, I then turn it off, I let it rest for a minute, and then I fire it again when it's hot. So it gets a cold, a hot, and a 10-minute run. That's the best you can do, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, Especially then, if it starts back up when she's hot. You know? Exactly exactly that. Once that, once that. once that coil gets warm and that spark plug gets warm, uh, you'll know what problems you got. But I'll probably end up just whacking a new plug in it anyway because it's got one of them uh, chicken chow main. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink yeah. yeah. Pornic, yeah. Too young. Um, yeah, yeah, at least throw an NGK in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, throw an NGK in it and it'll, and it'll be good. So I'll pick I remember, one of them up. I remember, back, I remember back years ago, I had a little Toyota Corolla, yeah. old 78, 79 model Toyota Corolla. Yeah, yeah, and I used to buy them NGKs for like eighty nine cents a plug. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, they've gone up now, brother. They've gone up now. I think I get yeah. mine. Um, I buy a box of ten NGKs, and I think I pay fourteen pound for a box of ten. It might be twelve pounds. It depends. Mm -hmm. Um, that's for B two LMs. If I go down my local car dealership shop called Halfords, which we've got over here. You can buy a pack of four. You can't buy them separately. Yeah. Uh, a pack of four, and they're seventeen pound for a pack of four. Yeah, yeah. It's the same spark plug. It's the same spark. Yeah. Plug. But you, you that but old you Toyota, that well, old Toyota used to burn so much oil. I used to go through a plug a week, so I used to keep a box yeah. of them in, in the happens. seat. It happens, doesn't it? Um, but uh, I, I tend to tend to rotate my stuff. I'm just, I'm just due to order. Um, my Chinese carburetors in, uh, which are my standard two-stroke carburetors. Uh, you buy like the universal ones, as long as they've got, they've got like a 12 mil throat on them, um, yeah. then uh, I'll, I'll buy about five or six up for like four quid each, and uh, I just rotate them uh, as they come in. Uh, Red Oaks Mowers, thank you for coming in, mate. Nice to see you, buddy boy. Thanks for popping in. Come see me. Do you, uh, did you use that, what is it, that one you're telling me about, standard, stand? What, what? Stan. Is it Stan that you order them to? Stan's. No, I know my, my plugs and my filters and what have you, I order through either Amazon only because it's next day delivery. You can get it the next day. Yeah. Um, huh. Stan's do do next day delivery if you order before five o'clock, but you can order stuff on Amazon like half past eight at night and it's still there by half past four the next day. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. been surprised with a few of those. Yeah, um, so I do that, but generally my gaskets and um, diaphragm kits and carburetor kits I generally get from Stens or I get from Garden Hire Spares. Mm -hmm. only, because, new only because they have, they have a really good customer service. If you, if they, I mean, I, they sent me one for a, 
I'm sure I was doing a Makita cutoff saw, DP360 cutoff saw. Um, and it had a Walbro uh, carburetor. And they wanted, I think, 120 to $160 for a new carburetor. And I ain't paying that. I am not paying that. Hmm. Um, so uh, I found the carburetor kit actually on Garden Hire Spares. They sent it out. It was, it, it was peanuts. They sent it out, but um, it wasn't the right one. It was about – well, this, the, the, the diaphragm they sent me was an inch square, and the one I wanted was about two and a half inches square, so it was way too small. Um, I rang them up, and they said, keep they said, keep the diaphragm kit you've got. Keep that, and then we'll send another one out. No problem. And mm -hmm. so, so I've got, I got two kits, two kits for the price of one. So that's what it is. Uh, BWS says, Halfords are a ripoff. Check eBay before high street shops. Exactly that, yeah, exactly that. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, you get that uh, go uh, mini bike running good. The little one, I got the little yeah. one running pretty good. I just had some little uh, like cleaning up wiring and whatnot on it, and mm -hmm. I uh, I put um, I put LED tail lights on it, directionals. Cool. That's actually running pretty good. I should do a video yeah. of uh, <clears throat> let's say let's just say someone that's not. 300 pounds riding it. I did get it looking pretty good, man. <laughs> it's there to be written, right? Mm -hmm. It's there to be written. Have you, uh, have you seen the um, uh, low lids 50 yeah, video sure. that he, of that uh, mini bike that he, he restored? No, no, I did not. Oh my lord, you ought to see that thing, man. That thing is beautiful. I will, I will, without a doubt. I'll get over there, see him around enough, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, I got another, you know, you dizzy, right? Yeah, yeah. I got a uh, I got a uh, a Reaper mini chopper frame off of him. I'll oh, be, really? I'll be building that one. Hopefully, I'll get that done before uh, spring. <laughs> Boneyard. How you doing, Boneyard, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. I already I already picked up a 420 motor for it. Mm -hmm. Have you got, have you got mm -hmm. many more bits to put, many more bits to get together for it, or has you got, you got pretty yeah, much all there? I need, I need you know, <laughs> quite a bit, actually. Uh, I need all, you know, all, I got to wire the whole thing. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put lights on it and whatnot. Um, so I need all the all the throttle controls, uh, lighting controls, handlebars, um, cogs, fenders. <laughs> you got you got the cogs for it, have you? Or um, I have not bought the clutch yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not positive on the chain size of the sprocket that's on it, or if I'm gonna keep it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes so sense. You're gonna uh. You gonna put a torque converter on it, or are you gonna stay with the clutch? Yeah, and I, I'm flipping between the two. You know, I mean, uh, I think I'm. I think I really probably gonna end up with the torque converter, but mm -hmm. you know, if you that, do, that, that might depend on the money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you do, you know, with that big four twenty. Because that 420's got a lot of torque on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will go with that 40 series torque converter on it. You yeah, know? Well, I was thinking about the 42, without a doubt. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, your internet absolutely hates you today. Oh, it always does. It always does. You know, the, the little clipping in and out. <laughs> but oh, uh, <coughs> uh, what was what was I thinking? I was hoping to find uh, someone told me to f that they make a manual clutch instead of a centrifugal clutch. If I could find yeah, the, a manual clutch, I might go with that. They also make a, um, it's what they call a hydraulic clutch. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's like, it's like a torque converter. You know okay. what I mean? And it's oil bath. Okay. And we the faster it spins up, the faster it locks in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, they used to have them on the go kart a long time ago, especially on a two stroke go kart. Is yeah. that um, is that done with um is that done with like uh, an oil 
uh, an oil uh, compression on, on, on like a, like a, how an oil diff works. It just it, it, yeah, oil, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like a torque converter inside of a transmission automatic transmission. Yeah, they're good uh, because because they're you pretty they're, they're pretty much instant, aren't they? Instant. Hmm. Yeah, um, the, you you do got to have a little bit of RPMs to make the turbo inside the torque converter spin, and yeah. once when it spins, it starts locking up. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they are good, and and, and it's le less components too to go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's done done on pressure. That, that could be quite a good thing. Really, unless un unless you're running down the road at about forty mile an hour, Jim, and you and you and you kick that sucker in, and you you end up uh, up an oak tree somewhere. <laughs> well, you know, that's the idea. I I I really I got to break forty miles an hour because the road I'm going to be running down is fifty. You know, a lot of it is fifty miles an hour. So yeah. you know. I think the only way well, I'm going to get there is with a good torque converter, you know, and a big sprocket in the back. Well, it's got a 72 tooth on it now. It know. should roll pretty good. Depends on what, how many tooth you run up front too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's something I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know those things. Like, should All I do right. 10, 12, 20? Well, I'm guessing, you know? I'm guessing you're going to put a cog on there and you're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> out. Do this, Jimmy. Call up Go Power Sports and say, "Hey, look, this is what I want to run. This is what I got. What do I need?" Yeah. They're pricey, though. <laughs> I know, but you can get information, brother. Hey, you think they give it out? All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so what? What sort of league time on that one, Jimmy? Are you looking? Is that? Is that? Going to be ready in the summer, or oh, I definitely need it ready by this summer without a doubt. Like right now, it's it, it does, it's a little more gathering. I need maybe another hundred bucks in my kitty to buy all the stuff that, I, that I'm looking for, you know. Yeah, so that's another uh, it's another month of waiting on YouTube, so you know, um. Yeah, but, uh, it is what it is. my channel will pay for it, so it will pay for it. It already bought it already bought the motor, so you know. Yeah. Hey, that's great, man. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I didn't. Well, it didn't buy all the motor, but it bought it bought eighty percent of it. So <laughs> yeah. that that's one thing with me. If I ever do get monetized and I start getting you know revenue, everything's going back into the shop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I also I also too, you know going through different types of machines and stuff like that and what I'm weeding out that I don't want, I throw onto the trailer, you mm -hmm. know? So when I get a trailer load, I take it to the scrap yard. Yep. I might get $30, $40 for it. You know what I mean? Yep. And I put it right back in the shop, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that, that, that's what I, that's what I try and do. I try and, I try and put everything I've got, um, Back in back into the channel or the shop or, or whatever. Um, it mm -hmm. doesn't always work that way because obviously you need to buy more stock and and bits and pieces. Right. But, uh, yeah, but that's that's still going back into the shop, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, of course. And and, and hooking up the internet, man. That's that's into the shop. That's into the channel. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll turn the volume down. I'm not I'm not looking to rich my pocket. I'm I'm looking to to do better on projects. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and buy material and stuff like that. Yeah, I hear you there. <laughs> I'm just having fun now. I've just spit out, I've spit out like more videos in the past week than I have in in I don't know the past four months. Yes, you have. Yes, you have, Jimmy. Yes, I, you have. I got a camera that I like using now. You know what are you using? What are you I'm, using, dude? This thing, this thing is a, is from Wish. Let me unplug it here. It's a. Uh, oh, let me turn this off. It's just a cheap. It's twenty dollars on Wish. It's That's a, killer, man. Yeah, it come with the microphone. It uh. What is it? Um, oh Jesus! I can't even. It's high def. It does thirty frames a minute. It, uh, you know, it does a little. Uh, it has a little. Do what? Asked everybody to pray for Edward. Mm-hmm. 
you know, a little Zoom and whatnot, and to come with them. The best thing is this. <laughs> yeah. The sound yeah. quality of my videos has just gone up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did I, you get I, the I, cat like, with it too? Yeah, yeah, it came with it. Yep. The batteries for the thing suck, but I have one of those. Um, what do they call it? Lithium power packs. Yeah. That mm -hmm. I just, I hang right on the tripod and plug it in. You know. So. It's all good. I mean, I, um, I I started off with just using the camera on my laptop, but over the time that it's been sat in sat in here, uh, the camera's the camera's gone a bit wonk. So uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> someone bought me uh, it was just a gift uh, this Logitech. Uh, I think it's a nine twenty or something. Uh, HD I, camera. I started with, with the Logitech nine twenty. That's a pretty good little camera. Yeah, I, I I like I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, I had um, because. I was getting interference off of that microphone on my camera. I don't know. I was getting clicks and I was getting bits and pieces coming on. Mm -hmm. So um, I put this up on my Amazon wish list. And uh, a week later, a friend of mine who lives just down the road, literally a friend of mine, he's great with my boy Riley. Um, this turned up from Amazon. And uh, I think I, I, I listened back to my streams and f before I had it and now I've had it, it, it it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's it's way it is. Much it is, Mick. It's just like me. It is. Yeah. Uh, Especially, especially when you're when you're the host of a live stream mm -hmm. and you've got people on, mm -hmm. on on mobile phones and it's glitchy and you like to be overheard if you're trying to get something across or whatever mm -hmm. you like to be overheard, you know. So um, yeah, it's all good. I will agree. Yep, it's it, not it, 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 it it when you can't hear when you can't hear people. No, it, your live streams in the last month and a half, two months, has turned around like you wouldn't believe. Honest to God. It's uh, for yeah, the best. Everything's great, man. I don't know what it is, okay? Um, because I've only been on here just over a year. We're 27 days in. So I've been on here a year and 22 days, literally. Um, and um, I've done quite well in getting up to the 1K, uh, uh, up to the benchmark of what they require. Yeah. And it's not, it's not all about the money. For me, it's more about the community um, that, that you can have around you. Um, yeah. But I moved my live stream just to a different day because of my because of my child. Um, Riley Ball was Riley Ball was having some issues um, with me being on a live stream. He was getting overexcited and and was whacking his mum and all that sort of stuff. So I, I had to do something. So I moved it. So when he's not here, and um, yeah, all of a sudden overnight, I've gone from like twenties in the house, which is what I was sort of averaging. Uh, I think last night, I or the night before, sat night, I had seventy eight in the house. No kidding. There no you go. kidding, Jim. No kidding, Jim. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. I'm not blowing my own trumpet or, or bloating or gloating or nothing mm -hmm. like that. But if, if 80 people want to come on in and say hello, and I run a stream for three and a half hours, I'm getting 100 likes. I'm getting six, nearly 700 views in the first three hours. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. So think of the think of the community. We're helping each other out, and people are sending me stuff, spare parts. I'm sending stuff out, stickers and calendars and bits and pieces, and you know that, that's what it's about, right? It's about making uh, friends, right? Right. Exactly. But, about making friends. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't such a night owl, <laughs> I think I think I, I, would do better. I think that's what it is, Jim. Is it, you know, unfortunately, some of your some of your streams are just out of my league. I can't get to it because I'm asleep. Oh, I, I understand all can't, that. Trust can't me, get I do. It. Can't get to it. What a real girl, so. But that's why I do. That's why I try and do that Tuesday afternoon stream. Yeah, that's it. That's as fit. early as I can, you know. Yeah. You know, and then it's, the Thursday all... night stream. It is what it is. I mean, I want I wanted to access the, the Americans and the Canadians because I was just getting really low views uh, on my live streams from them. Mm -hmm. I was getting messages saying, "Mate, I was asleep too early. I missed you, whatever." So I thought, "Okay, I'll move it. I'll shift it over a couple of hours." And that stream, I had people come in that had never ever never been in before, and, uh, mm -hmm. and they're staying in. They're staying in for the entire stream. You gotta love that. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about. It's all about, you know, it's not it's not about the numbers. It's not about how much money you earn. It's not nothing to do with that. It's about chatting to people. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've known Doug now, despite the fact he's got a heavy breathing problem. I've, I've known Doug now um, <laughs> about nine months, and uh, we, we chat regularly, not not just on here. We chat, we, we you know, we go on the old uh, hangouts, and we chat for three or four hours of a night time. Mm -hmm. Sure do. I, I sometimes we talk while he's coming home from work. Yeah, I'll stick you on my dashboard, and we we'll, we we'll just have a chat. As I'm, I've got an, an hour and a half drive in front of me. I'll just sit sit on my dash, and we'll have a natter, You know, 
Hey, cool. as long as it, as long as he could get home safely. Hey, I did my job. You know what I mean? Oh, you keep me awake. Yeah, that's, that's half the battle in a night shift to stay awake. Otherwise, I end, I end that's up right. head out the window, head out the window, stereo mm-hmm. full belt, and the, and the cold air blowing. Um, that won't be a problem tonight, Doug. I'm only about 15 minutes from my house tonight, so that'd be cool. Oh, <laughs> really? I want a good one tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a e- train. E- train's train. close to the house, huh? Mm-hmm. I do that to a lot of people on that side of the phone. <laughs> What's that? Do do what, Jimmy? Uh, they go to bed. You, you, you guys are going to bed when my stream starts. You come over, say hello, go go, go to bed, and come back, and I'm still streaming. Still, still yakking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. That's all good, though. That's all good. I mean, you, you got uh-huh. a good channel, Jim. You got you got good content in there, you know, uh-huh. and you and you have a very a very dist- of people coming into your stream, so you can chat about pretty much anything. Which well, is that's cool. what I love about it, you know, because it's, it's yeah. someone the other night called it. Called it a Chinese buffet panel. Yeah, yeah, and and, and, and and why not? And why not? I, I get I get everyone up here, and I think yeah. what's important, what's important for me, Jim, is that getting you guys up here is one thing, but yeah. you guys have your own channel, you have your own streams, you have your own stuff going on, so you can't mm-hmm. always commit, you can't always commit. Right. It's it's I I like to invite my my viewers up, people who are watching the videos every week, commenting every week. That's who I like to get up there because you know you, you're actually communicating with the people that are physically watching, supporting your channel. Right. That's why I I say it all the time on my streams. I like I look at the, the who the who came in. I'm like, yep, anybody that's in the chat right now, you're welcome to come up here. There's the link. Exactly, exactly you know? that. Exactly. <laughs> I went I went on one stream a while back and. um the the host he said uh links in the chat and i'll see who's in the basement to see whether or not you're worthy of coming up or not and i just, <laughs> and I just thought i'm not gonna bother putting that to put tapping that link I ain't yeah bother. i don't want to i don't want to find that one out yeah <laughs> I, don't wanna worthy. Worthy. I know i'm not worthy yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. well, don't, don't, don't force me to announce it <laughs> right yeah <You know? laughs> so yeah I, I i invite absolutely any, anybody up you know um and as long as everyone plays nice and everyone gets along, yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, I miss I miss Zippo's live stream yesterday. Yeah, me too. I was asleep. Me too. I was gone. I don't. I, I didn't even. I uh, didn't even catch it. I because I, I, I worked a. I worked a double a Saturday and I worked a, a Sunday. But I come off a night shift Thursday night onto days, then did a Sunday, and it just ruined me. I went to bed at half past ten last night, and I was I didn't wake up till till right. I woke up this morning at half past two. Is a mm. top, top conquer. He's a he's a good lad. Uh, yeah. Hi, mate. How you doing? Nothing against each other. Yeah. Hi, mate. How you doing? All right. Yeah, doing good. A... Doing good. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Piddling down the rain at the moment. Hey. Right. Doing what? I said it's piddling down the rain at the moment. Yeah, it is over here too, but I'm not. I'm not that. Far, I'm not. I'm not a million miles away from you. It's uh. No. It's a, it's the same here. Oh, apparently Zippo, Zippo said it didn't happen um, last night. Why didn't Why didn't the stream happen? It was all It was all good to go on a zip. It didn't happen, Mike, because he's not well as he's due to go in a uh, hospital soon, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, speaking of Zippos, I got I got four of them from Captain Jerry. I got these two here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got this this little the little chicky one with my, actually has my name engraved on it. Right, and then. I got this one. It's supposed to be an an armor one, the plate sticker, and uh, I was just screwing around with it and made a Captain Jerk glider out of it. Oh, cool! There you go. <clears throat> why not? Right? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? I know Zip, Zip has my own heart with Zippo lighters there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zippo, Zippo's got a whole box, a whole box full of them. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go, go see Captain Jerk. You got a bunch. You gotta get rid of. Morning, Cajun. There's that crazy Cajun. <laughs> it's crazy Cajun. How you doing, Morning, Zip? Morning, Papa Doug. Top How conquer, doing? Mick. Are you doing well, Zip? So what happened to your live stream? I was fighting my shoulder something awful last night, and I screwed up on Friday. Oh. So, fortunately, uh, I just got a phone call for the time. I have to be uh, about an hour's drive down to the surgery center. Okay. And I have to be there at 6.30 a.m. Oh, cool. Nice early <laughs> slot. That'll be good then. No, that's good. That's, that's good. Out of bed mm-hmm. early, get it, get, get it done, and get back home again. 
Yeah. Hello, Sparky. How are you, buddy? I'd much rather have that than have a like a, a half past two in the afternoon and then wait for the hospital to be running late for three hours and then you don't get in there. And then at half past six, they go, actually, come back tomorrow. We'll have a look at it then. Right. Yeah. Yeah, been there. Hey, man. Hey, Doug Sweeney, Zippo. Hey, buddy. Uh, who's that top? Uh, who, who's that right there by me? Uh, next to Zippo. Top Conquer. Top, top Conquer. Hello. How you doing? Oh yeah. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, That's... Zippo, I noticed you didn't go live uh, last night. Yeah, I saw that you asked me if I was going to go live. I didn't. My shoulder was giving me too big of a fit. So I got you. I was, well, I was looking happen. for you. I was looking for yeah. you, Mona me. Yeah, I couldn't and even get it. I didn't even. I was racked up in bed just watching TV, and I didn't even get on and uh, let everybody know I wasn't going to be on, which isn't like me. You guys know that. I'll usually tell you. Yeah. 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 It happens. So when, is, when, so when is your next one scheduled for? Yeah, well, if I'm loopy enough when I get done with surgery tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. I might get a wild hair and go live during the during my uh, wake em up time. You guys can poke some fun at me for being out there on. Well, Friday. if if anything, we would we would like to know how. Even if even if you don't go on, if you can shoot a message on Facebook or something like that, um, we'd like to know you made it through it. Everything's good. You're okay. That's all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to let everybody know. <laughs> even if it's fact, just Miss uh, Zippo holding the phone up and taking a quick video to post, we'll do we'll do something. Never I guess, get a chance to or even from her, her, you know what I mean? Her had. Yeah. Say again, uh, mate. Uh, say again. Never a chance to look at that um, screwdriver on the uh, on the carburetor adjustment. I sent you an email with a couple of pictures. You did, yeah. You're stuffed. <laughs> yeah, you just can't get oh. a screwdriver in there, oh. can you? <clears throat> well, to, to to be fair, oh, uh, what you can do is take the air box off. And then just put a bit of foam and cable tie over the carburetor. That should be enough just to um, simulate having a filter on it. Right, because you know, right. you know, on those hey. um, those mowers, there's two bolts that hold the carb on, so the whole lot falls to pieces as you take them out. Just get hold of a ten mil a ten mil socket, put yeah, the bolt yeah. put, put the bolt through it, do the nuts back up, and then just cable tie some foam or something around around the carburetor throat, and that will simulate having a filter on it. Um, to, to be fair, that there isn't, there shouldn't be a massive amount of difference to having a an air filter on or off. It, it, there is a difference to a degree, but it's not huge. Um, yeah. and yeah, they're, they're, tuned they're, tuned to have, they're, they're tuned to have the filter on. And good morning, Jeremy. Jeremy's uh, from my channel. He popped in to say howdy. Hi, Jeremy. Hey, hey Jeremy. Yeah, I know Jeremy. The, uh, um, a screwdriver or some sort of a, a U bend that I could get in and then. Twist it, but I can't find yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I, I, I would just take the, the air box off, put two yeah. sockets on it, and uh, to, to create your, your packing distance, and then just get some some foam or something, and just put it over the throat just to simulate yeah. the best that you can. That, that's what I would do. Yeah, I probably only want half a turn. It's just to make sure the the tick over. It can barely tick over at the moment. You know, it's um looking for the next gasp of air, like. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, it it. If you're using the same boats that had the air box itself on it, uh, you might have to simulate. Uh, you might have to add some washers. You know, without the air box, you might have to add washers behind the boats for the carburetor to yeah, take up that little space. A, if it's a if it's a pulse of prime, it's going to need to know that. Yeah, Cajun's right. If it's a pulse of prime, it's going to need to have that uh, airport sealed off. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a Honda. There's no, there's no, um, there's no posting prime on it. It's a, it's a Honda GV GTV one three five. No, no, no actually, there's, there's what no prime report on there. What I'm talking about, if you have the airbox, uh, yeah. well, I'm think I'm probably thinking of a different engine, but if you have like a airbox and your boats, your core boats, since you, your airbox, you know, I'm thinking of. Uh, I will. Uh, you know, your through boats. 
sometimes the bolts are a certain length and if you yeah. eliminate the air box when you tighten the bolts to the carburetor uh you know uh, your thread is going to bottom out before your carburetor is even tight and you're going to have yeah, an right. air leak at the carb so yeah, you might okay. need to you know put some washers behind mm -hmm. the head of the boat to tighten the carb up to the block itself yeah, yeah, but both but both bolts are only both bolts are only probably about um six so mil diameter, I'd say. So what I would do is I'll just get a socket and just put the bolt through that with a wash on the end of it yeah. and then uh press it press it down. Oh but yeah, oh I got you. Yeah, I see. Yeah, Definitely. there you go. Yeah, well, it's even better. Because the the design of that Honda goes. the design of that Honda carburetor mounting is pretty poor. You've got to take the yeah. bolts out and the whole lot just falls to pieces. What, what I've done in the past with those Hondas, um, Con, because I had an issue, because you only get about three or four threads, don't you, um, yeah. on yeah. that nut. What, what I did is I took the airbox off, and then you know the little tiny um, metal collars that sit inside the plastic airbox? Yeah. Yeah, I cut them straight in half, and then I use a Dremel tool and just uh, Dremel some of the plastic airbox away behind it, and then that gives you then another four or five good uh, clean threads to work with. Okay, that's yeah. what I did. Yeah, because yeah, I thought about replacing the bolts completely. Put some studs in there. Nah, then, nah. Just, just, just cut. Just literally cut those little tiny metal bits by half. Yeah. Cut them in half. Yeah. I've got, I've got a video on it. If you check out, uh, that, that was, that was that puppy there. I think uh, it's a Honda video. You check the video out. It shows exactly how a little hack on how to, how to do, how to work around, and uh, <laughs> it, it works a treat. All right, I'll, I'll double check that one. Yeah, yeah. Check. I'll try and find a link to it. Cheers. Yeah, put, it, um, put the link in the chat. Uh, Doug, Doug, what are you going to hey say, guys. buddy? Boy? You, got, you got your hand up like you, like you want to go to the toilet. Up, yeah. Um, hey, Doug. First of all. Hi. Hey, Zip. How you doing, brother? <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, uh, if y'all don't mind, uh, say a little prayer for my brother-in-law. They put him in the hospital. He's got four hernias hey, and wow. he's in rough shape so if y'all could oh, just wow. say a little prayer for mama for yeah, mama and her brother yeah, and uh, everything oh, yeah. it's her Absolutely. last brother alive it's her last brother being alive you know and another thing mick can you show him show them the good picture how a toolbox needs to look oh, Lord, a news <laughs> that i sent you yeah let me get let me let me send some some emails to myself and get it up on an email for me. Oh my lord! I don't know why I got to poke me with it. Um, I, I, I opened up the attachment and darn it threw up myself. Um, <laughs> Prayers anyway. going out there. <clears throat> let me find it. Uh, Thank you. The, Thank you. Let me find these pictures and I'll. Uh, uh, it, it'll take me a little while just to email them up to myself, Doug. So get, get, you, you guys chat away and give me a okay. Me edit, edit this stuff up. My old, uh, my, old, my, old, my father many years ago said to me, a tidy workshop is a quiet workshop. If you've got mm. time to tidy it up, you ain't got no work. Yeah, but there's yeah, a fine well, line between yeah. tidy and filthy and functional. Well, yeah. you know, tidy means yeah. you're not tripping over twos and air hoses and extension cords and you busting your butt yeah. making yeah. noises and cussing. No. Yeah, if Those it's tidy, you drop the nut. Yeah. Those of you guys that have watched my videos have seen my shop is organized chaos everything makes sense in what looks like a disorganized mess yeah. but everything is in its place and easily accessible and my countertops are clean and yeah. there's, nothing, on, there's yeah. nothing to trip we'll, over on the floor we'll have it's none good. of that in my garage yeah, Jimmy, I'm a you. He's Jimmy, trying. I'm a you, buddy. I'm a you. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't happening in my shop. It's not gonna happen. I'll try, try, dude. I try, but it, it you, know, no, you walk hey. away and you're like, ah, you know, I hate cleaning up by myself every time I'm in the damn shop. You know? Oh yeah, no, my all my tools have to be accounted for before I lock the shop. Mm, no. Nah. Because <laughs> so I'll just I'll just leave a project right the heck where it is, you know. Oh, the wrench is out, everything. Because 
when I get back in there, I want them right there. You know? Jimmy, okay, you've, they're, Jimmy they're you've just escalated up to the platinum level in my mind, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, when I leave a project there, I want those twos I was working on that engine right there. I don't want to have to go uh -huh. re-grab them. Exactly. There are, there are instances when it's a multiple-day job like the Simplicity Conquest series that I did where my tools stay with that job until that job is done. Mm. Um, but when all work is done, everything absolutely gets put up. Yeah, but and I want to right. talk to Papa Doug real quick about hernia yeah. surgeries. When I was younger, I had two of them. Uh, I had one at a young age and mm. another one at a, a fairly young age. But my first hernia surgery, I could not walk for six months after that surgery. Wow. Wow. Where, 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 were the, wow. where was that uh, disc or that hernia? Do what? what? Where was the hernia? It was a hiatal hernia. I got, okay. I got one. one of them. I got one of them. Yeah, I've never done yeah. that one. I've done, um, I've got two herniated discs that have been serviced. They weren't removed, but they were serviced. Yeah. And I got one that still needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, there's more to that story, though. I can imagine. When I had that first hernia surgery, I was only four months old. I couldn't walk anyway. I started walking when I was 10 months old. <laughs> Shuts back the light off. But... Freaking wise ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got you, Sus. He got you, Sus. Yeah, he sus. got me. I well, I get everybody when I tell them. They're like, six months? Yeah, but... I was only four months old, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, the yeah. I, was I lost uh, six weeks ago in the workshop. I dropped it, and I'm still looking for it. Anybody find it for me? Let you know, will you? Yeah, brother. I, brother, I lost. I lost a fourteen mil. I lost a fourteen mil socket. Do you know? I lost that socket for a good week. And do you know what I did? I went out and bought myself a brand new fourteen mil socket. <laughs> right, right. That's exactly, exactly what you have to do. I've, I've been I'm trying to find a sleeve of 10 millimeter sockets. I'm getting yeah, a bunch of. Uh, I'm getting a bunch of safe surgery wishes over in the <laughs> chat. I just wanted to thank everybody. Um, I'll do my best to make sure that I get uh, the word out no. on how everything went. Uh, if not no. tomorrow after the surgery, then uh, on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But I'll let everybody know. Miss Zippo's been staying here to make sure that. Uh, I'm going to be well cared for and she'll stay through tomorrow night as well. And if I'm doing okay, when she gets up to go to work Wednesday morning, then uh, she'll go ahead and head back to her house. But she's been a rock star since Friday as far as taking care of me. God bless her. God bless her. Yeah. yeah she's a good gal. I got a good one. Can I do, can I do a self, uh, Donald Dooley asking Zippo, God can I do a selfie? Yeah, here's a selfie right here, Donald. Uh, Mick, blow the screen up for me. You ready for my selfie? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who stuck that in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's there, there, there's my selfie for you, Don. Hey, that's a different type of surgery. That's a colonoscopy. That's, 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 that's when the doctor says, I'm just going to take your temperature, and he puts both hands on your shoulders. That's what that's all about. Yeah. 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 Wait, just wait for the zipper. Yeah. Well, uh, a, a zipper for Zippo. My primary care physician is a female, so if she's got both hands on my shoulders, and then, then there's really something going on. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Zippo wouldn't like it. I just got yeah. me one of them new primary care <laughs> physicians. Yeah, she oh, is sweet. Jeez, Monetti. <laughs> oh, hey, I got to give a big shout out to, to Snobby. Snobby came to my uh, live stream tonight, so which was eight hours, eight and a half hours long. Cool. Yeah, uh, the thing ran all night, man. I was in the chat the whole time. Well, sorry, yeah. I was, I was, I was lurking, lurking, the whole time. lurking. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, you know, you and, guys talk uh, a whole new world. And, and I was asking about guys in here. I was asking about Zippo, you know, talking about Zippo and talking about Mick. You know, hey, is Mick going to be live? 
uh, you know, in a few hours from now or what have you, you know, in the morning. And he says, I'm not sure, but I'm, yeah, he might be. So I say, well, I'll see you over there, you know, later I'm, on. So I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a off the hip. I just sort of go into the, uh, into a workshop and if I got a spare 20 minutes, I was going to hit that live button. The 20 minutes turns into four hours. And before you know, it, I've done a live stream. I, I don't, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't tend to, uh, my Saturday night is my thing. Every Sunday night I go live after the Ken PV show, you know, for the big show, which is the hugest coin giveaway package on YouTube. You know, really? there's like, you know, a couple of three hundred dollars worth of coins, uh, silver, copper, uh, all, all that in, rare coins, old coins, uh, silver, what have you. Anyway, it's the hugest thing on YouTube. And uh, I've been friends with Ken for quite some time. Yeah. Oh, you still have that. Uh, you know, you want that. That dime, that 1916 Denver. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was talking about that not long ago uh, in one of my live streams. I was talking yeah. about that. That's the dime to have right there. Yeah, so, it is. I'm, and I'm as, just, as, I, if you, as you can see behind me, my refrigerator took a dump. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, that and that little white stuff on top of chicken chick. Uh, well, it's the same as the, the dark stuff on the bottom of that white stuff on chicken chick. It's the same thing. Chicken yeah. chick. Yeah. So, Anyway, so I just got to uh, <laughs> just got to uh, show these photographs. Uh, Top Conco, I'm just going to drop it down. I ain't going to boot you out. Just stay where you are. I'm just going to drop it down so I can bring another screen up, mate. That's what I'm going to yeah, do. No problem. So you, just, so you just sit tight and uh, don't go nowhere. I'll bring it straight back. So I got this to show, which is uh, what I do. I do a weekly or when I do my live streams, I, I get people to send me in photographs of their toolboxes because lots of people have different types of toolboxes, as we know. And um, safe, Wild well, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> and Sorry about uh, that. Well, I like to share me. what's going on. So this, oh my lord, that's disgusting. Yeah, there you go. No, baby, no. Look at that. This is disgusting. So this is Doug no. Sweeney's toolbox. Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's help, that's help, the way, brother. That's the way, that's the, that's the way Doug, it should be. Doug, you could got, you make that out of out of uh, you know for, closet for shelving. storage shelving? Yep. Yeah, yeah. There should be beef burgers in there. There shouldn't be nothing yeah. else. There. You've got how many? You got one, two, three, four, five, six sets of mole grips, I and mean, they've never been used. Not one's been used. I got more. <laughs> oh my no. Oh, okay. I, that's doable. I can put up with that. Um, only because um, I like it because your spanners are not in line. See, that would drive Zippo mad. Yeah. See, well, the mad. less yeah. the left side the left side there is all standard. The right side is all metric. That's the right way to do it. But, it's but, just, but, but, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just mix matched. They're they in the right side. They're yeah. in the right size order. So. I'm not having it. I'm not having. They're not. They're not. They're not they're, I could do with that. that. That's lovely. I can cope <laughs> with that. Let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, no, see, this is where it's all wrong, Doug. Oh, um, that's all wrong, without a doubt. All, it's all wrong. The only bit I do like is this shelf here. This bit here. There's nothing in this bit here, so I quite like that bit. But all of these, that needs putting over there, that needs putting over there, that needs putting over there, that needs putting over there. Because, you, this, no, not, I'm not having it, Doug. It makes, it, it's making my eyes bleed. Um, no, <laughs> not having that either. No, I can't, no, that's gone too much. No, not happening. No, that's it, end of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and hey, the best thing of it all, he missed. Love. He didn't even put up the love. screwdriver drawer. You would love our shower. Uh, I'll shop. Man. Nick, you would love it. You All would right. love it. Hey, hey, you're talking about the most disorganized place that ain't got no room for even a push line more. You would love it. <laughs> That's it. I'm doing a garage tour after that. I am doing a garage tour for you, Mick. <laughs> Bring it up. I want to see it. I want to see it. I, I tell you, because some people, Damn, they need a checkup from a neck up. I'm telling you, you got five <laughs> time on your hands. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I'm gonna take a video now, of me, me, and, me and Johnny. Don't, shot. don't talk bad about me now. <laughs> well, what, what, what? Whilst you're getting your shoulder done, you can get your checkup done. <laughs> What's that, do what? Whilst, you, whilst you're getting your shoulder done, you can get your checkup done at the same time. I'm coming around your gaff whilst you're out, and I'm gonna sort your stuff out. I'm telling you, <laughs> you ain't finding nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, it's I easy enough for me to lose a tool if it's not in yeah, the right place. Yeah, pulled up. <laughs> yeah, hey, Mick, you, uh, you would love to see my little bitty shop behind me. You would love to see that right now. 
Brother, <laughs> brother, I'm telling you, all you got to do is very simple. Where is it? There's my email address, rock and roll under the screen. There's my email address. Send me an email address. Take a photograph of that. Email it over to me, and I will send it. I'll put it on, on oh, the big oh screen. Oh, no, I'm going to take a video later on. In a few days, I'm going to take a little short video, about a two-minute video of my little bitty place behind my house. Then I'm going to go into Big Shop, me and Johnny's Big Shop, 80 by 120, and show you that one. And and you're gonna love it. I mean, it's so disorganized. They like I said, they they don't have eighty by one twenty. They don't have room for a push mower in it. What you're describing to me is only as a, I only have one word for it, and that's heaven. Or yeah, paradise. hog heaven, hog heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's hey. where the, that's where it is. That's where it is. Hey, right there, Yo. Bing's projects has a question for you. Cajun. Uh, let me let me pop on up. Uh, where are we, Cajun? Uh, let me find it. Uh, I can't find it. I'll read it to you. Yeah, go on. I'll Mick, try and find I've it. Just, watch, watch it. Mick, I've just brought a Makita petrol disc cutter, and it didn't come with a pull cord. You haven't by any chance got one I could buy off you, have you? No, I haven't got a... a oh, 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 oh. I may have. I may have one. Um... One of them big ones. I got one sitting on the table. Is it the is it the actual pull cord um, that's gone, as in the housing, or is it just the little tiny plastic disc that holds a pull cord on it? Let me know uh, because you can buy you can buy the complete pull cord copies for them. Uh, I think they're around about twenty quid, um, but you can also buy just the plastic. Uh, pulley for it. Let me know if it is actually just a pulley gone. Hello, Mrs. Conker. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even see that, that, that comment. Who's that, who did that comment come from, Zip? Uh, the comment came from Bing's Projects. B I, I N G S Projects. You, you got it. So <laughs> actually, if you wonder what's going on, the, the missus just got back with two dogs. Like Welcome back, Mrs. Yes. Where is she? Let's Give have a look at her. Uh, Hello there, princess. We can see you in your red tie. I'm very wet. <laughs> Good oh. girl. Well done. Gosh. Horrible. Um, so let, um, yeah, let me... This project know. says it's, it's the whole pull cord, and it's a Makita DPC 6200. So you haven't actually got you. So you you actually it's actually missing that missing that that component, is it? Sounds like it. Uh, Mick just bought Makita. It didn't it didn't come with a pull cord. Okay, so I have um in my stock in my organised shelving, I have oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. a Makita uh pull cord pulley. I've got the pulley to one, um but you can buy um I think it's on either eBay or. Somewhere else. Try eBay first, and you can buy just the casing for it. So I do have a spare pulley, if that's any good to you. I have a spare one in my sorted out assortment of um, uh, tidy trays. Yes, Doug Sweeney. What can I do for you, buddy? <laughs> just want to join in. <laughs> I produce the warm. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, pick me. Um, <laughs> yes, go on, Doug. Two things I'm looking for. You're the closest one to me. <laughs> Two things I'm looking for. Peerless 820 tr transaxles. Yeah, I'm going looking on. for a right hand angle box. Right, yeah, we'll get some more. So if you come across one, you, you let me know. A couple of them, you let me know. Okay. I ain't got one, Doug. Is that for, I, 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 is that, is that 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 for Jimmy? One. Is that's that for, for me Cajun, because he's closer to me. Oh, that's for Cajun. Uh, okay. What? For Cajun. What? I heard my name a couple of times. What? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm missing something. Yeah, he's looking for some peerless uh, transmission parts. Oh, oh, no. I'm, I'm looking for a peerless transmission myself. Oh. He, he's got some, Doug's got some. Well, numbers. I'm looking for a peerless 820. Oh, I think I have the 700 series. Uh, well, I, I, it, it needs replacing. Uh, you know what? 
Let me call Al uh, about 10 miles down the road. He's got a, a junkyard. Let me call him. You looking for an 820? He's looking for the two angle gearboxes. Yeah, the the, the one that the, the two side shafts comes out and then the, the drive comes out the bottom. <laughs> Dirty's like, good luck, Doug. <laughs> good, luck, good luck with that one. Yeah. Is that it's the one? Yeah. Got a bit yeah. Two ends yeah. on the ears. You have the pulley on the bottom, and then you have the the, the left and the right coming out the sides. Is that the one you're talking about? Yep. 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 <coughs> yep. I see if Mister Hammer has one. Uh, the right hand angle box and uh, peerless eight twenties. Okay. Is it me that's the only one that doesn't know what he's talking about? No, I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm there, but they're, I think they're about as rare as rock and horse muck. What, what, are, they, what are they found Steve. on? <laughs> yeah, it, Conk. Um, let's go back over to the comments here real quick. Vince F. looked up the part that uh, Biggs needs, uh, Makita part on Amazon. Right there you go, right there. That's on Amazon. You can get it cheaper on uh, on eBay. Um, obviously, you might get a second-hand part. Um, I think when I, I had much the same problem, but my pulley had gone on mine, and um, I ordered the uh, pull cord assembly originally. It wasn't a genuine. It was a copy, and I think they were only about 22 quid back then. Um, so shop around first. Shop around first. Lay the BWS. Um. Where's everyone in here from? I've got a question here uh, from Keith. He wants to know where you're all from. So we got um, Mr. Doug Sweener, who's up at the top here. Let me go and find him. There's Doug Sweener. <coughs> Doug's in uh, Alabama. There's Doug. Uh, where are you from, Jimmy? I'm from New Hampshire, USA. New Hampshire. Uh, you got Top Conquer. He's over. You're West Country, isn't you, Conquer? Yeah, Salisbury. Yeah, he's Salisbury Way, West Country. And then down here, we got um, Zippo. He's in uh, Indiana. Yep. He's in Indiana. And we've got Cajun. Indiana. Uh, and where you Cajun? Southwest Louisiana. Pure Cajun. Southwest. Born and bred. There you go. And uh, Ooh, I'm in the... Boo I'm, a, a, I'm a southern southerner uh, on, the, on the UK. So I hope that fulfills your uh, questions. Right. Brandon from BS Small Engines has rocked in the house. How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. And there's Alexander Smith. Hey, Look my Brandon. buddy Alexander in there. How you doing, Alexander? Oh, yeah, Alexander. He's in there. He's in there. He's sounding low. BS City Operations from Massachusetts. Yep. Howdy, BS. Yeah, How you doing, Brandon? Yep. A little bit. He about an hour down the road. How did his auction go? Yeah, I think he raised. I think he got about five hundred dollars. I think oh, no. I might be wrong. I saw. I saw five hundred. He got. Uh, he got vet bills for his dog or something, and uh, he wants some some people to help out. I, I think he got yeah. about five hundred. Yeah, he said over five hundred. Mm. I don't think he actually. Yeah. Put the number yeah, I'm going to bow out, mate. I'm going to go shopping. All right, buddy. Hey, Enjoy yourself. Don't forget to buy me something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Hey, I had to refill it, Zip. I got a pile of them. I just don't have no fluid with me just yet. I was, hey, I'll tell I was you, streaming, I'll tell, I'll tell I was the streaming Zip Saturday night oh. after, uh, I mean, during uh, Brandon's uh, auction, and I was doing an auction, and my guys were late coming into the auction, so I sent a bunch of people over to Brandon Stream, BS Small Engines. Good man. And uh, man, they they uh, the the people I sent over there helped him out a lot. I yeah, did hear yeah, yeah. I did hear that somebody. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Brandon. I'm sure I saw a comment on the Hangout say someone donated over two hundred dollars straight. Or something I saw. That's oh, fantastic. Wow. That's yeah, great. that was. I think that was. That's Zeke, awesome. Zeke M did that. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Well, this is go this is goes to that prove is Jimmy, awesome, Jimmy. This is goes to prove about what we do on on our platforms about building community up and people people out there who who aren't necessarily got got a lot of money, but you know they, mm -hmm. they give a little bit to help somebody else because it, one day it'll it'll come back. Right. Yeah. Well, there, we were on one chat and we decided to throw Snobby a whole bunch of money just to see if we can get him to cry, and it worked. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Man, that, that man needed a big roll of toilet roll that day. All I know yeah. is I paid about twice the amount of what it, uh, 
a memory card. Is I paid twice the amount of what the memory card that I bought is worth. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Dirty, dirty, you can come up, get in your car, come up here. I'll give you this one. Where you go, Jimmy? Uh, well, Dirty says I need a fancy letter. And this I, I made this Captain Jerk letter. Just stuck a couple stickers on it, you know? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Jerk, Justin. Hello, Welcome Zippo. Back, Dusty. Hello, Cajun. Hello, Dirk. Hello, Dusty. Hello, Megan. All right. Uh, uh, hey, Tech. Again. Look at him doing the green screen. Dusty. <laughs> oh, you want to do green screen? I can play uh, that uh, game. Uh, we have yeah. <laughs> He's doing the Beatles thing. The Beatles yeah. and Jimmy Gale. You know, okay. Back in the 60s. <laughs> snobby, snobby said we there you go, Jimmy. There you go, Jimmy. America. America. <laughs> That's cool, Jimmy. That looks good. I like that. I like that. I do too. And, al and also, it takes about 15 years off of you, Jim, too, by doing that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I could do some of that myself. Hey, yeah, Snobby said, you guys rocked me. Yep, that was our intention, buddy. Yeah, that was it. That's what it's all it's about, you know. Jokes. We but, see you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, th 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 there's, a lot, there's a lot going on at the moment on different platforms, a lot going yeah. on. And yeah. um, do you know what? If you can dodge it and you can keep out of it and try and remain in as impartial as you can, yeah. um, there's some really good people knocking about and uh, they help each other out not with, you know, what I do, small engine stuff, and uh, help each other out and lend a hand, or if it means someone needs a hand to put the fence up or whatever, you know, it's 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 what it's about. It's a good community. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's much better than your Facebook. I, I've come off of Facebook. I don't. I don't. I don't use it. Um, at, uh, the, this YouTube community is in the year that I've been doing it is is fantastic. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. My local community, my neighborhood here. I'm kind of the neighborhood ambassador as far as I'm. I'm, I'm in an elderly. Uh, neighborhood. Most people are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and um, they always call on me to help them out with stuff. I've gotten consistent, steady. The the, the grapevine in this neighborhood is just incredible. I've yeah. gotten more support. You know, if you mm -hmm. need anything, give me a holler. Just any okay. of it, any of it. And uh, even in the YouTube community, I've had so many people reach out, um, and it's. It, it warms. It, it warms you. It really yeah. does. Yeah. It puts a smile on your face. It does. So what are you hiding behind you there, Sparky? Nothing. Nothing. Just um, He's done the belly one the last night on one of the streams. And I thought I'd get one of that, Lee, belly. <laughs> You've got a pissed off Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. Wait a minute. That looks for me. I was going to like Porky Pig. Wait a minute. No, that's not Porky. It looks like Winnie, but wait a minute. Hold on. The funny, the funny thing is, though, with that, is if you painted, if you painted yourself yellow and put a red T-shirt on, you wouldn't need a green screen. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, oh, but that's, oh. that's, that's, that's that was that's harsh. Obviously. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come on the right stream, right? You're going to get poked. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I don't mind getting poked. I'm used to getting poked by doctors. <laughs> hey, hey, it looked like Winnie the Pooh got stung by too many bees stealing that honey. That's what That's it what is. it looks like right there. That's what it looks like. Yeah, definitely. That's what it looks like. That's good. I might, I might, I might have a little, a little tamper with it at some point, the old green screen, but uh, to be fair, I ain't put a screen up. That's the problem. Hey, guys, look. I got to run... Thank you, Mick, for having me in here. Zippo, Doug, Jimmy, uh, you know, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I just too. dropped in for a couple minutes to say hi. Uh, I gotta go get. I gotta go get me a nap, get some sleep. Uh, like yeah. I've been streaming eight and a half day. hours, and I've been on YouTube now for ten hours. Well, actually, longer than that. Oh, but yeah. anyhow, look. Okay, so, occasion. As always, there's the front door's always open. There's a pot of coffee always on. You're always yeah. welcome, mate. Pick your feet up and chill out and come over here. No problem, mate. Always yeah. welcome. Appreciate it, Cheers, bud. Man. As Be always, safe. love, peace. See you, Cajun. Cajun, have fun. Look after yourself. Blue yo. and, and Mick, it, gotta it, have it, some cracking. To go to the green screen thing, they do sell a green screen that pulls down like a shade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I might look into it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I I don't know. I'll see. I'll I'm see just what happens. Saying, you're yeah, probably I'm, making it just as easy too. Yeah, I, like it. I might. I might just paint myself green. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. I've got, yeah. I got some green. I've got some green amber right in here. You look happens. like Shrek if you do that, mate. 
I walk at you, give him it. Now he's now going to put you. You're going to listen, listen, brother. You are no more than 25 <laughs> years older than me, and you're looking just like me already. So I'm going to give him all of that. Uh, <laughs> do, do you see what happened there, Jim? Oh, yeah. You paint yourself green, you're going to look like Shrek. I'm just saying. I'm painting like Cajun. I've been up all night, too. Have you? Yeah. I don't know good, brother. I don't know good uh, here. Uh, well, I'm actually trying to stay up to so I can hang out with the wife today because she's not working, but she had to do some stuff. So. Well, it's yeah, absolutely lashing down the rain here now. It's yeah. lashing down. So I, I've got some videos to edit. I've got about three videos done. Just got to get them edited up. So I've got some stuff to do this afternoon. I need to get my head down to um, to uh, get ready for a night shift. Yeah, I can see that boys in there. Now you're taking the mickey out of me now. Cheers for that, Pete. Look at that. Now they're all calling me Shrek. What's going on? Cheers, Zip. So we've got a new we've got a new nickname for old Mick there. He wanted to paint him. Yeah, bye. That ain't gonna happen no more on my stream, brother. You can come down here and give me all of that. Ah! <laughs> That's what happens, my friend? <laughs> you come up here and give me all of that. Oh my lord. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Uh, right? you knew, you knew I got it you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. So I'm quite pleased at all that that little mower fired straight up. I can just get on and give out a service today, so that'd be good. Um, get that done, get it ready. But uh, the way it's going, there'll be no cutting grass because it's absolutely lashing down, and it's like we're going to rain for about three or four days. So the possibility of selling that's going to be no good. I might get that steel trimmer on the bench next and uh, have a little look at that. See if I can't get that to fire up and uh, work my magic on that because that turn that turn a pretty little penny. So what are you on today, then, Doug? Are you in the shop today? What are you what are you going to get on with? Yep, yeah, as soon as it gets warmed up a little bit, I'm going to go back in the shop. Um, I'm going to redo the Zoll system on my mom's mud mower. Um, mm -hmm. I got the foot throttle done yesterday. I dropped you a video on that. Yeah, I've not seen that one yet. Um, how, how, how long is that one going on for? Oh, dear. Uh, probably know? five minutes. Okay, Watch cool. The yeah, I'll drop by. Watch I'll drop the by. Are you ready? <laughs> so, no, so laughing already. What's up? I can't see nothing. No. Nah. He's got. He's got. Hit. He got what? Put it back up. I can't. What are you talking about? Put Sparky back up. <laughs> he's got your shop in his background. The the, the 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 funny thing is, the person behind you is ten times better looking. <laughs> 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 And that's one image you don't want is me behind you, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a laugh, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what I mean. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm easy with it, mate. I'm, my, my skin's thicker than a rhino. That's not a problem. That's a good one, Sparky. I like that. As soon as I figure out this techie stuff, I'll be getting on it as well. You worry about that. Oh, that's coming straight back. You worry about that. He's having a <laughs> good get, time. Man. I'm, I'm going to be ringing Jimmy up and saying, Jimmy, how's this, how's this green screen work? You need to hook me up, brother. I'm going to get, get Sparky back. It's coming. You should have got an email from uh, StreamYard about the green screen. That walks, yeah, you probably through, did. walks you through how to do it. It's yeah, pretty I, simple. I, yeah, All I did is get a picture, hang a curtain, and adjust the page. Life, yeah. I'll figure it out. You I'll get the light. You you get it figured out, and <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord! You get it figured out, and I'll send you. I'll send you a green screen of Shrek so that your motto can can be right there behind it. Oh, zip! You just keep poking. You just keep. I I, I hope your shoulder heals really quick, brother. Really, yeah. quick. <laughs> <laughs> really quick. You know, it's coming. It's, uh, Jimmy, howdy, like, Shando. Welcome, Jimmy. Like you're ready to drop, brother. You like you're hanging. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> you're, like you're hanging, bro. You go bail and go catch you. Go catch, catch you a little cat now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me up. Peace yeah. out, folks. Oh, Jimmy yeah. is always good seeing you, Jimmy. Love, you, Jimmy. love it to have you up. Be safe, brother. We'll see you. Take it easy, Jim. There goes Jimmy, boy. He's off. He's uh, gonna go and get his head down and chill out. Same as Cajun. He's knackered too. So the link is in the chat. If anyone wants it, it's absolutely lashing it down with rain. Can you hear that rain? It's bad, isn't it? No. Cool. Uh, it's giving it some. It's probably giving it some. You so the link is there. Or if anyone wants to come on up, 
uh, feel free. Um, you know the rules. It's quite simple. 35 in a house. If I can get a few thumbs up, that'd be good. I think I've got about 40 already. I think I last just checked. So if anyone yet hasn't yet, give me a thumbs up. That would help. I've got 48. Lovely. That's cool. How cool is that? Lovely to see. Um, so, uh, do you ever fix your windows in your, sh in your shop? Who, Did you who seal me? them no. up? Yeah. No, not yet. No, I'll, I'll wait till summertime. To be fair, I wanted to see, I wanted to see how cold it was going to be um, this winter before um, I did anything else with it. Um, and I, I, it's, it's not been too bad. We've had a couple of minus two or threes, and uh, my my little heater behind me here has, uh, has, has has worked quite well. So what I'm looking at doing is two options. Um, I might just get some. At the moment, I've got eight windows, which are about a foot and a half square. And uh, the overlap is shocking. So I may just get some sheets of like eight by four and uh, make some long windows in there um, and seal them in. And then option two is the same, uh, long sheet windows, but I might um, actually make some frames up and uh, have them so they, they open up as well. Because in the summertime, this is going to get hot. Mm -hmm. this, this gets the sun all day long. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I might have it so they, so they open up um, problem with that is of course is security <laughs> if you have a window that opens in this access <clears throat> into into a shop and you know um i take my laptop out at night time and what have you but uh you know i've got dewalt drills and mowers and bits and pieces in here so um need to be a bit careful what i'm doing um i need windows 10 you need windows 10 yeah so yeah what do you think should i just go for sealed windows um, or, or what uh i don't know if you have it over there but over here, we got these like these flush mounted windows. It's got the flange on onto them, and it's, mm -hmm. they're slide back where you can. It's got the screen in them, and uh, what they call mobile home windows. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, all you got to do is just cut out your area. Make sure you have you can flush mount them, silicone around them, run your screws into them on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then just put your uh, clap what you call clap we call it trim around uh, the outside of it yeah <laughs> i think mick's biggest concern is making sure that uh it's killed the windows are secure enough yeah. that yeah. nobody's going to be able to get into the shed yeah i might i might um uh, this is only about two mil thick um plastic so literally you can just put your hand through it and it, and it collapse so I might get some some five or eight mil um, perspex in there, I and mean, I might just put some yeah. bars up on the outside. I'm, I'll, I'll weld some bars up, and just so I've got some uh, um, yeah. nothing to come through. And that way, they'll open up a touch. If I make them so they open up just a smidge, you know, up to the bar, uh, that'd be enough just to let any 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 fumes out. But I've been told off three times this week already on my last video about starting lawnmowers up in the shed. I've been told off, so I need to um, I need to go back outside and do it. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not good for my health being in here, um, <clears throat> firing mowers up. I, I do understand that, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm lazy. I've, I've got a five thousand BTU air conditioner in my shop, and no zero windows. And in the dead of summer, when it's ninety plus degrees out, I can get the shop down to seventy five with that tiny little air conditioner, as long as I yeah, keep I, it shut up. I think. I think the advantage I've got is is that um, it's quite a small unit, so. I've got big barn doors, so with those barn doors open, I should get a, a bit of a draft coming through. But we, we'll see. But the other shed last year, when I was doing my live streams, I, I even had to come indoors because it's too—it's just too hot to get in there. Mm. I just couldn't do it. So I might have to get a little portable air conditioner just just to knock it down a touch. Um, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, ho hopefully, I'll, I'll figure something out. So the link is there, people. We've got thirty-six in the in the chat. And um, you're very shy, so if anyone wants to come on up, feel free to come on up and join the party. There's a link, and more, um, than, more than welcome coming up. Um, I believe uh, I believe you have a special oh. guest on her way. Uh -oh. Dusty's going to come on in live for us then. Is she really? Bless her heart. I tell you, uh, it helped out a lot too, Mick. If you can get it over there, is that styrofoam <coughs> insulation board? Yeah, we got, we got it Give here. It um, yeah, we got it here. I'm looking at doing that, Doug. In fact, I was chatting to um, Johnny Five. He's just built a shed or an extension to a shed made out of doors, and he's put insulation in there. Um, the problem I have is is that between the wall and the ply board is only about about an inch. 
Yeah. Um, and my, my guess is if I put um, insulation in there, it's going to compress it too much, but it's not actually going to insulate anymore. It's going to be solid. Um, so I'm going to be doing something. I, I was looking about expandable foam, um, but that's not really an insulator, mm -hmm. so to speak. So I'll look at something. I, I want to warm it up, but, hey, it's only, it's only just sort of three months old, you know, um, right. already. It, it served the served the purpose already. I'm in the shed. I've got no leaks. Um, I'm relatively warm with just one bar on a fire behind me. Yeah, one bar. Um, and and it takes a chill out, and and it, it, it's workable. I'm uh, I'm I'm doing it. So, um, well, your weather over there and over there is different than what our weather is over here too. That's uh, what I'm saying. Doug. That's what I'm saying, Doug. You know, we get winter, but our winter is generally about three weeks, four weeks long, of about minus minus four, um, and about <clears throat> about three degrees during the day. Um, so it's it, it's no biggie. Uh, I, I can I can just do a live stream indoors if maybe it gets too bloody cold. But uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll figure something out. It's, it's not it's not the end of the world. I'll uh, yeah. I'll figure out if if it's your shed, Doug. Your shed's a lot taller than mine. Hence, you got more to heat. Mm -hmm. it, you got uh, my, my shed is literally just about eight foot tall. That's it. So I haven't got I haven't got as much to heat up as you have. Um, poor zip, uh, poor zip. His ceilings are, Lord, I bet you they're fourteen, fifteen foot tall, ain't they? To the ridge is eighteen feet. Mm hmm. There you go. The, to the ridge, and I just have a two thirds of it lofted in. I want to finish the rest of it so that I've just got my eight and a half foot ceilings. It'll be a lot easier to heat and cool if I can get mm -hmm. that done. Welcome back, Jane J. And Brandon said uh, he works in 100 to 110 degree heat down there in Texas. I believe it. I can't. I, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, I, I can't either. I, the temp's got to be, you know, yeah. 80 degrees is about my cutoff if it's humid out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear that. But that's what I'm thinking about doing doing with my shop, though, is that if I if I come to the end of my bench and then just bring it out to an L shape here, about halfway across, and then I might ply board this rafter. Um, so my shop is cut into two, one area for uh, bench work and one area for machine work. Um, and that way, when mm -hmm. I'm doing a live stream, I can put a door on that. I can shut the door up. I've only got half a shed to heat, so it heat up even quicker. Um, right. my, only, my only concern is, is when the summer gets here, it may not cool down as fast. But, but, my question for you, Mick, and uh, everybody over in the UK, are you guys limited on what size your sheds can be? Uh, to a degree, yes. You can't. You can't just go whacking up a um, a 15, 20, 20 foot high store um, off off the top of your head. Um, it's more to do with um, common sense. If you put it in a situation where it's not offending anybody's view or upsetting anyone, you'll get away with it. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm right down the bottom of the garden. So my, my neighbors behind me, I'm actually at their bottom of the garden as well. So that's all I've got. So I'm not upsetting no one. I could have gone up to about nine, ten feet. Um, and you can buy summer houses, but the majority of the, the mm. restrictions are the footings. If you put footings down to put um, the shed on, then yeah, you can get into trouble. I think the maximum is um, 10 foot by 25 foot is a maximum you can have. That's a pretty good size, though, if you're able to put that in. Well, this is 10 foot by 20 foot, um, so it doesn't fall within a criteria, but um, it's, it's four foot short. Um, uh, four meters high, says Snobby. Um, so um, you can't um, you can't go much, much longer than that, but uh, it, it's fine. It does the job. Yeah. Well, if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah, it works. It works. And as I say, it's absolutely lashing down the rain now. And I mean, it's bucketing it down. And uh, there's not, not one drop coming in the shed. It's nice and warm, plenty of light. So I'm, I'm happy. About like the old shed, huh? The old shed used to leak more like a vegetable calendar. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, I, I was working on engines. I was having to work under an umbrella. Uh, there's there's always someone taking offense if you do anything. I, yeah, it is. That's what it is. It's, it's about common sense, you know. Um, I, my, my old shed, I asked my neighbor before I put it up, that, that's over four meters. Um, he said, he said, do what you like. It's, it's your garden, do what you like. You know, he doesn't look out that way, so he, he was happy with it. Um, but uh, it's the way it is. It's the way it is. We shall see. Um, this will do me for about the next four to five years, if it lasts that long. Um, I'll probably give it another coat of the old jollop, um, the old mixed mowers special treatment um, this summer. Give it another coat. I mean, I've got to go around and um, silicon up all the knots because I'm getting a draft under my feet here. And I'm sure it's coming uh -huh. straight, through, straight through the knots. So I should put some silicon or some wood filler in there um, just to tidy them up. I've got someone, try I've got someone trying to come in. 
Uh, I've got someone trying to come in. Um, if you want to come up, you've got to um, pick your nose and then flick it. <laughs> you, know, you know that's the rules because you did to me last night. So, yeah, you can flick it. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> How you doing, honey? I'm all right. Oh, my. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm doing good, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm doing really good. Yeah, having a good Hi, Dusty, sweetie. Hi, yeah. Mama. Hi, Hi Dusty. Okay. Everyone Hello, bro. Forty six in the house okay. on, a, on, a, on a mid on a midday Monday stream is not a not a bad thing to have in the in your in your platform. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, pretty pleased. So how's Ooh. your day been? Right, you've, been doing, you've been doing paperwork. I know. I've got the unit over there and the drawer gets filled up with all the bills that you've paid and everything else and then I have to file them away and then is start that, again on another year. <laughs> what is that is that for a business or is that is that just household stuff? Just household bills and letters and I, I, I tend I tend to just take photographs of all my bills that come in, take photographs of them, and then just store it on an iCloud app, on, 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 a, on a, an app, you know, a cloud. That way it's, all, it's, it's done. Well, there no you paper. go. You just give me, because I've got folders where I put them in the, the little sleeves and everything else, but the folders are like getting full up. So now yeah. just if you, if you, as, as it comes in, just take photographs of it and then just buzz it up to the other. You've got, you got unlimited data. Sparky will tell you more about it than me, but you can do it to, to the OneDrive or whatever. Put it in a folder, send yeah. it up into the ether, and uh, it, it, it's forever stored. Done. But you've never got to have a paper bill if you have to go for reference or anything. If you need a paper bill, you just go up into your uh, up into your cloud. You pull the file out. You've got it on your phone. You push print. It comes out on your printer. Paper form done. That's it. Oh man! Wow. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. Every day we learn something, Dusty. You know that. So you've been doing you've been busy doing um, paperwork. Then what's Snobby yeah. been up to? Well, he's he's a sore soldier today. He was a lost soul? No, a sore soldier. Oh, what was that of him? He pulled his neck yesterday, Dan Shell, I think he said. Okay. The muscle at the back of his neck. Okay. And he's woke up this Dusty. morning. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him to stop making them U turns up underneath the sheets and he'll <laughs> stop getting his neck hurt. <laughs> he cut his he's moving like that. He can't move his head. <laughs> it, it, I, I take it. I take it. He's he's about somewhere, but not going to come on camera because he knows he's going to get poked with a sharp stick. Then. Yeah, he's sitting on the sofa. Oh, you are right, snobby sweetheart. Can we get your oh, cup of cocoa? Oh, and, a bit oh. of and he took some tablets. You need a cup of cocoa. And he ended up taking the wrong tablets because he ended up waking up this morning, taking it early, and he feels all drowsy now because it's one when he had a bad back that they gave him. Well, I can I can sympathise. I don't know how I did it one year, but I I trapped a nerve in my back. I don't. I think I did it at work. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm always looking about for trains and stuff. And I trapped a nerve, and do you know what? That is, if anyone's ever had a trapped nerve that goes into spasm on their neck, yeah. Yeah. my lord, oh, it, it, it made it made me scream out with pain. Yeah. That that is dreadful. Well, I do sympathise with him with his pain because I've got bad neck. I've got osteoporosis in uh, C4 and C7 in my neck. Okay. And my shoulder. My mum's mm -hmm. got it bad, but because I don't drink and I don't smoke and I'm healthy, then it shouldn't be as bad as my mum's. But I, yeah. I know I suffer with a bad neck and shoulder and I know how he feels. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Mrs. P has got um, hypermobility syndrome, apparently. She's been diagnosed with that now, uh, last year. Yeah, um, that in my knees. Been... Okay, yeah, but Sue's got it in her, in her shoulders and in her arms and whatever. She's yeah. all, 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 all hunched up and what have you, and um, she, she's constantly in pain with it. But yeah. uh, she don't do the exercises she should do and uh, all that sort of good stuff to look after herself. I, you know, it, it is what it is. So, yeah, you know, in years to come, she, she, she'll have a wheelchair eventually. In years to come, so I'll, I'll just put a little lawnmower engine on it and she can, she can shoot around well, on that. Well, you might have a wheelchair before her. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, What's that, Zip? What is that? Well, it's hard to. I can't get it. To, there we go. Oh, it's That's your back. back. Is that back? Oh, oh wow. I can't get there. There. Yeah, I can see it. Oh wow. Ooh. That's a. Oh. That was one surgery. That's right in the yeah. middle of your back. That's yeah. in the middle of my back. Yeah. And here is. Oh. Wow. Like I'm, 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 I'm coming. Zip. I'm coming. Zip. I'm coming. It's like oh, yeah. That's in my neck. 
That's spinal fusion in my neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell so, you something. This, this, this getting old is crap. It is. <laughs> and I started doing that at 30. I've been at it for 33 years. Oh, don't. But, That's what I mean, because I went physio with my neck and they just said, don't just know your limits and don't overdo it. And just do plenty of exercise, and that's what I do, and I'm all right. It yeah, hurts, and right. I'll just take a couple of tablets and rest, and it's fine. But my knees, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. My knees are the bad ones because when I do exercise, when I straighten my leg, my knees jet back because of the hypermobility. And um, yeah, I they do lock, they do lock sometimes, and I can't get it out of that position. It is painful. My knees are always hurting, but oh well. <laughs> uh, Brandon said he, Brandon said he messed up his shoulder. Yeah. Uh, on a lawnmower, apparently. Uh, where is it? I got One messed more. up shoulders. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, that's YouTube. Um, come out of here. Uh, yeah. I got messed up shoulders um, and neck from lawnmower accident uh, where a mower fell on me. Yeah, I'd do it. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Cherokee Rebels in the house. How are you doing, Cherokee? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Thanks for popping Hi, back Cherokee. in. Hey, uh, Cherokee. And Always howdy, Lori's. Um, apparently, Tina says, yeah, you can say that again, Mick. Getting old is crap. So, yeah, it is. It is. I, I, I know. As I, I, as some of you may know, I climbed three mountains uh, either last year or year before now. Climbed three mountains, and I'm still still recovering from that. That, that was yeah. tough on the body. You know, I did um, 29 miles in 31 hours which equivalent to 70,000 steps mm -hmm. um i one of, I had one of them wow. step on of things on me on me on me yeah 70,000 steps and i tell you i got the stairs now and even to this day my knee gives out and it never used to um so i need, I need, to, I need to keep an eye on it i know when i come home from doing that challenge um which we raised about 20 grand for um the charity that supports riley um, I couldn't. I couldn't even get up the stairs. I physically could not go up the stairs because I've just driven about six hours back from Wales, and uh, I had to go up the stairs on my ass. Physically could not get up the stairs. Honestly, Dusty, I couldn't walk for about four days. I was bedridden. Um, it's, it's, I tell you, I tell you, if anyone ever gets to do the Free Peaks Challenge in the UK, I'm telling. Yeah, I look like that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> It's bad. Oh, oh. I'm going to run down and make uh, another pot of coffee. I'll be right back. Oh, make me one, is it? Make me one. Will do. Anybody else need coffee? Yeah, two sugars. Uh, uh, coffee. Yeah, I got to go get a cup, up. too. I got to no, go get donut. a cup, too. Get me a donut. Get a donut. Okay, I'll run yeah, down to Jack's. I'll run down to Jack's. Oh. Best donuts in town. I like I do housework and I have to put my fringe back because I get too hot. I have makeup on every day, even when I'm ill, Edward. Sorry, JJ, I didn't, see, I didn't see you down there, buddy. I see you. I just see you uh, come up. Have you been in the long? Have you been in, in the long, JJ? I didn't see you. Yes, I've been in the basement for a very long time. I was getting a little depressed. <laughs> I didn't see you in there. I didn't see you. I've been watching, uh, but I, because on my screen. You only get four. Go. I need to change change the the the, 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 the zoom of it, and uh, I didn't see it down there. <laughs> Sorry. You can see my black roots as well. Let's have a look. I'll take this out of them, Dusty. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's hey, y'all want to see something really really cute? Oh, they're shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Snobby in pain. There, be nice. <laughs> You don't. He looks nice. Bobby, Bobby, can you do this? <laughs> hey, man. How you doing, Jay? You want to see something really cute? Uh, is it a photograph of me? Hold on. You got, you got a puppy going on? Let me. Uh, where are you? Uh, that's Leah. That's not cute. That's not cute. It's you. Hold on. All right. Oh, look. You the cutie. You oh. the cutie. Was it a little pit bull or something? A little pit. Yeah, bull? it's a um, it's a cowboy pit. A cowboy pit. Yeah, I'm familiar. We 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 got we got them over here. My dad just got her last night. 
Uh, how old is it? Uh, 17 weeks. There you go. Has it started yeah. eating stuff yet? Yeah. Um, it, we mix, they was mixing her food with uh, wet food and dry food. Yeah. So eventually what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to pure hard food. Yeah, I use a food over here called, or I used to, I don't have dogs anymore. I used to have one called Dr. John's, which was fantastic. It's actually made by uh, a gamekeeper and a vet. Um, 15 kilos of it, and it's um, 89% digestible. So any dog, any dogs that have a, a delicate tummy or um, what have you, it's 89% digestible. It's a really good food. It's about nine pounds, 15 kilos. So if you know has got dogs with jippy tummies, Dr. John's silver is a way to go. Well, yeah. my dog eats as dark wet food, and I've tried it, and I think Watch it's fine. So, so again, Dusty, I'm getting a little bit of feedback off of JJ. So again, sweetheart. My dogs eat as dark wet food, and I've tried it, and it's fine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I do. I do know that when when I went to my vets because my my dog Murphy, uh, I had a Welsh Springer. He had a particularly um, Fair, dodgy tummy, and um, let's go. The vet, the vet said um, all the food, all the food in the shop that they have um, is crap. He said, yeah. I, wouldn't buy it. "I wouldn't buy it." No, love your hair. Your hair looks great. <laughs> Monica's back in the house. How you doing, Monica? You've, have you woken up now, sweetheart? Uh, oh, hang on. Where's, where's yeah. it gone? Uh, Edward, you're grounded. You keep saying I've got grey hair. Uh, <laughs> Monica says, laugh out loud. Fell asleep again. I'm going to take off Mick. Um, bye, everybody. And bless you. Thank you, Monica, sweetheart. Thanks for popping in. Bye, nice Monica. See you, my darling. The See you, Monica. See you again time. soon. Uncle Doug. Can I get a cup of coffee? Uh, yeah, as Uncle Doug, he's he's sitting there watching you, making sure you're behaving yourself. <laughs> this weather's really come in, Dust. I tell you, this weather is. Is it like over your way, Dust? Well, look, I'll, it's not heavy. I'll show, it's I'll show everybody again, but on Uncle Doug missed it. Yeah, hang on, Doug. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. In that beautiful Doug. Oh no, that's JJ. Oh. That's going to be a bag of oh, trouble, I'm that. telling you. That's going to be a bag of trouble. Oh, the new pit? Yeah. It's going to be a bag of trouble. That's going to get you in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. we've, we've been running in for about two and a half hours, uh, Monica. So uh, we're, uh, we're we're chilling out. We're doing okay. Yeah. It's, I'll tell you something. The weather out here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just turn it around. That's what I got. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It Lord have mercy. Yeah, she's lashing down. Wow. You're on the coast, too, ain't you? Yeah, I'm struggling, I'm struggling to hear you a bit because uh, the, the rain's hitting this roof. It's meant to be warming up at the end of the week as well, isn't it? It wants to warm up before the, before the end of the day when I go to work, Dusty. I'm going to get wet, ain't I? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I've just thrown out all my I've just thrown out all my waterproofs. So I need new waterproofs. So I haven't got any waterproofs in a minute. They've been ordered, so they're not turned up yet either. So, oh. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, skin's waterproof. I'm not made. I'm not made of sugar. <laughs> Dusty, you got Snobby doing the ass work. I wish. <laughs> Poor old Snobby. I bet he sat back on the old settee. I bet he's got. I bet he's got his feet up. Yeah. Have you got one of them? Um, you know, got one of them uh, veterinary funnels to put around his neck to stop him from, stop him from getting to his neck. I have actually got a few of them. Stick one, stick one on him. Stop him, stop him touching it. <laughs> and they're, and they're right, boy. <laughs> not Poor Snobby. <laughs> Poor old Snobby. You're not very well. You're right, Snob. I mean, come and give you a cuddle. Yeah. Put, your, put your big boy pants on, will you, and get on with it. He's all dozy because of them tablets he took. <laughs> Uh, I'm up the coast a bit from Mick. It's horrendous here. Where are you, Barso of Vegas? Where about to you, buddy? You might have told me before. I can't remember. Um, are you Southampton way, aren't you? I think Southampton. Uh, but it's shock it is shocking here. In fact, I was going to go and get a cup of coffee, but I might just stay in here for a half hour until that rain stops. Oh, there goes Jay. He's bugged off. Um, 
So there's a link. Anyone else wants it? Room for one more. Uh, feel free to come on up. Your port's on fire. Yeah, you are. Just, just like the road then. Yeah, it's lashing down here, brother. Mm. So <clears throat> so you've just been doing some paperwork then, Dust? Not been doing yeah. a great deal? Yeah. What, no. what, what, what have you got on the old menu tonight then? What what are you um, cremating tonight? You've got steak. Steak? Yeah. Steak. It shouldn't, yeah. it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be having steak. T-bone, sirloin. I don't know, just a lump of steak. He shouldn't be having. He should be having steak with his ailments. He should be having, you know, something bland, you know, dry rice and 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 chicken. You know, if you're not not a well boy, I used to get yeah. when, I, when I wasn't well. I used to get tomato soup with with toast with no butter and a black and white TV. That's what I used yeah. to get. Yeah, I should. I can sort that out for him. Some Do soap. it. <laughs> Do it. Is he is he really in a lot of pain with it? Is he? Yeah. Oh bless him! I just want to reach over and give him a big cuddle. Use men and babies with pain. What is it? A stubby oh, shuffle can he do? No. Yeah. You, 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 you saying that, Dusty, we did not see your face once when you were being tattooed. So don't go giving it all about. We saw, we, no, we saw it while, whilst they were resting up and whatever, and you were smiling and going like that. I'd like to have seen the gun when it hit the flesh, and you do that. No, I never pull faces. It's not what Snobby told me. Oh. <laughs> that's a rumour That's a rumor Snobby started. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, to, I have to go back and go see that tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A cool video. I think it's a cool video. Um, how's it now? How's it now doing, Dust? Is, is it completely healed now? I can't see it. Oh. <laughs> it's on my back. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, uh, I would say to get Snobby to check it, but I don't want him to bend his neck anymore. I don't want to hear him cry out. <laughs> he's a window when he's hurt his muscles. <laughs> no, a bit cool out. There's no scab on it now. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I think I think blokes are a bit crap when it comes to being ill. I think we are a bit crap. Yeah. Um, but it, 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 it's never stopped me. Um, if ever I've been ill, I mean, when I was um, with this tonsillitis and my rib, uh, my, my rib was mega painful. Still went to work that night. You know, still still got on with the job. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm at Nine Bellies Mick. What's that about, Ali? Why are you giving me Nine Bellies? Is that me, is it Nine Bellies? I've got Nine Bellies. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm having problems with my headset, guys. So, uh, uh, okay, Joe, no worries, mate. That's fine. You always have seen a bad internet. You do, buddy boy. I don't know what, what why you do. Um, yeah. Must be a bit, a bit of quality of it. <laughs> so, what, what are you doing, Dame Sparky? What are you up to? Doug's got his mixed mowers mug. Good lad, Doug. I'd like to see that. Um... I've just finished up the hive system, the heating, uh, done the screen screens, done the repair on the computer, and put my new webcams up. Yeah. You ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing. Oh, oh Jojo's really? trying to come back in. Wow. It's quarter to three. Wow. But the hive system was a pain in the backside to fit, so done, finished. Yeah. yeah. Jojo's, uh, Jojo's just come hey, back. Yep. Let's see how he gets on with this one. There you go. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Four weeks yes, ago, um, no, I think it was booked on the eighth. Edward. I'm going to send you a package. I know how much you like wearing those do rags. And, uh, I got a few do rags that I don't use. I'm going to send to you. Awesome. Yep. I use them all the time just to keep from getting a sunburn on top of my bean. <laughs> Try the new Zippo well, they're Barga like the biker coffee. style. That's right. You know what I mean? Get that Zippo Varga brand coffee. Uh, Jay, we're getting, Jay, we're getting some feedback from you, brother, from some kids in the household, mate. It's a bit hard to hear what's going on. Hey. I'm talking to puppy. That worked awesome, JJ. I know, right? She's got a loud mouth. If you don't like it, go watch it. I'm talking to the public. Wow. Be, be safe. The end of January on Friday. Yeah, have a yeah. Pete's got to run and get his daughter. All right, Pete. Seriously, mate, I shan't be much longer. Mrs. P will be home shortly, so I want to get home and uh, make sure I've, I've been look busy. <laughs> Zippo brand coffee right there. It'll put hair on your chest. There's the proof. Well, you need, to you need to change brands, brother. You need to find one that puts hair on your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, go ahead and zoom in again. Oh. 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 There you oh. go again. I, 
I, I got it up on you, Mick. I just I just shave it off by choice, not because I don't have any. Rude. Um, <laughs> Snobby says. Uh, Snobby says I went to take a Viagra and it got stuck on my neck. Snobby, what are you doing taking that stuff there, brother? You don't need that stuff, surely. What's up, yeah? No. <laughs> Say again, sick note. I didn't hear that. I said, I said, wait till you get to 15. <laughs> the white, it's not blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Ali is on it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I had a guy, I had a friend of mine one time. He got his Viagra and his, and his, uh, Hair medication mixed up and made his hair stand up. Yeah, I know, uh, I know, I know what you're saying, Doug. I, I, I stood I, up for more than four hours. He needed to go see a doctor. I'm telling you, I, 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 I was I was, a, mm -hmm. I was in the worst boat than that one day. I, you can now buy Viagra in uh, in uh, eye drop form. It does nothing for your penis, but makes you look hard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Edward Thomas says Six Nations starts. Yeah, it does, mate. Yeah, Six Nations is going to be on. I'm going to be all over it like a tramp on, like a tramp on trips. I'm going to be on that. <laughs> when they were trying to come up with a name for Viagra, <laughs> See, but... trying to come up for a name, a name for Viagra, See, but... and they had a bunch of them that got turned down, but some of them got notable mention. Yeah. One yeah. of them was Mountain Dew. <laughs> another one was another one was my cocks a flopping. Get with it, get with it, get with it. <laughs> um, Ian says, Snobby, I reckon you would. Oh, my God, here we go. That's it. Snobby says, I reckon it was more like a bent over for a bit of copper and your neck went. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon what it actually was. He 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 dropped a pound coin, and he bent down to pick it up, and it smacked him on the back of the head. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Who did we lose? We lost someone. Who did we lose? We lost Doug. Doug fell off. Oh, Doug. Yeah, he does that from time to time. Just Doug. Brandon's uh, taking off. We'll see you, buddy. Later, Brandon. Look at yourself, mate. Take care, Brandon. Bye, Brandon. Well, I'm going to have to go because I've got now to start doing that because I've got to go to tonight. Okay, sweetheart. And Dusty, as always, it's lovely to see you, my darling. And uh, I've you. come and frequent your stream. Let uh, me do one, darling. But you're always welcome over here. You know that. Yes, I know. Thank you, Mick. I'll see you. And, uh, give, give that big teddy bear a big hug from me, but just mind his neck. <laughs> I'll just leave yeah. him. He's all right. <laughs> snobby, snobby, give Dusty a big hug from Zippo for me. <laughs> He's right. We'll see you. We'll see you. I'll catch you later on, sweetheart. Look on. Right. See you bye -bye. later. Bye, everyone. Bye, Sid Post Star. Bye, bye, darling. Take care, bye, bye, bye. Take it easy. Good, good. There goes my dusty blonde. That's a little art. Nice to see her coming on up. Let me just refresh my old page here. My internet is struggling a bit, I think, because of, because of, of its weather. Sparky's 52, over there um, playing around with his up. green screen. Yeah, I've got 52 thumbs up, two um, non-believers, and 41 in the house. If I get a couple more thumbs up, people, that'd be fantastic. Um, it just helps all the growth of my channel. That'd be brilliant. Um, Doug's internet is bad, apparently. He cried coming back out again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the stream up because um, I've been going now for, what, uh, yeah, about, about three hours. And uh, I've had a good day, and I need to get some stuff done. I've got three videos I want to edit up and um, get ready for this week. <clears throat> um, plus, I've got always four or five bits of kit here I want to get sorted out as well. Um, so thank you very much for everyone that's come into the, um, into the chat and said hello and stuck with us. 39, 40 people in the house throughout. It's been lovely for three hours. That's really good. And uh, thank you to Zip, uh, to Joe and Jay, uh, to Techie Sparky Boy, Dusty Blonde, um, Cajun, yeah. and everyone that popped in to come and see me. Um, 
thank you very much for that. I do really appreciate it. I do value your time that you give me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, you've got my email address. Buzz my email's over, and um, I look forward to talk to you all very, very soon. I'll probably do another couple of lives during the week if I get the time, if I wake up early enough. If not, I should see you on somebody else's, and I'll come and say hello to you on there. So, um, Thank you, Zippo. I'll go on, Zip. There you go. Good luck to, uh, every, on, to everybody that has reached out for well wishes for me. Thank you very, very much. I take every single one of those well wishes to heart, and I will do my absolute yeah. best to let Why everybody you know. Who yourself, Zippo, when you're in the hospital? What's that? Try and keep your yeah, hands you'll be right. Yourself. You'll be right, Zip. You'll yeah, keep hospital. my hands to myself. When, uh, when I get you'll back... Right, it, you'll be right, yeah. When I get back, if I'm able, I'll pop on real quick with a live stream just to uh, let everybody know how I'm doing. Otherwise, look for a uh, wellness post here on YouTube in the community tab. You should get notified if the bell icon is ticked and also over on uh, Facebook. I'll let everybody know how everything went. Cool. Yeah, I look forward to it, Zip. I hope, you, uh, hope it all goes well with no glitches, and I hope you recover because well, it's good to see you, see you doing what you do best. Very soon. Thanks, Mike. All right. Cool. We've got some, uh, boys, we've got some feedback, I'll tell you. <laughs> right. All right, guys. We'll see I'll you, catch you later. Look after yourself. Yeah. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. As everyone out the basement, which is cool. Um, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I'll see you all soon. Look after yourselves. God bless you all. And I'll catch you on the next one um, very, very soon. Take care.